There, I think I got it. Okay. Okay, can you hear me, guys? Oh, I can barely hear this myself. Oh, that's not good. I might have to change that connection on this. Okay, I think it's okay. Loud and clear. Perfect. And hi, Harry and Terry. No problem. Just one moment. My ears feel a bit iffy. I can... One moment, just give me a second. <coughs> there, nice, seems a bit. It's probably me. Yeah, I haven't been hearing too well lately. Andrew, it's nice to uh, to talk to you again, Terry. I'm back, yes. Oh, well, thank you, guys. Yeah, yes, just I'm very, 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 very weak. So, we'll just take our time at this. We'll see where it goes. It feels so strange wearing these headphones again. I feel like I'm in a tunnel. Okay. Now, let's go. I, the only way, do you remember that bug we had, that stupid bug in the Brotherhood? Uh, the only way was to load before we joined the Brotherhood. So I did. I did a bit of grinding on this, so we're almost back to where we were. But remember we were level, what, 2... 261. We're level 204 or something. But I've maxed out destruction again. Oh yeah, from 77. And uh, did the rest of it, so... There's a lot of quests that have to be redone because of it. But I've done, I've kind of speed done them, you know what I mean. Now, while I was speed doing the quests, because I wanted to do them quickly, I did change the the settings, so I want to go back in and change them back. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I should be okay, Terry. Oh, hi, Hufflepuff. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I'm not too bad. My chest still is, feels very weak, very tight. Um, and the humidity here, obviously, it's a little hard to breathe, but I'm I'm pretty good. You know, that's, I've had a lot of time to <laughs> to, <laughs> to rest, although I felt like a pill a pill pin cushion, but still. Yeah, I'm not too bad. I've got about 50 medications here. I really don't like that. There's one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Eight different pills. What can I do? You know, I was never one for taking pills, but none of them are painkillers or anything. It's just for blood pressure and cholesterol and goodness knows what else. So how have you been, Hufflepuff and Jerry and Harry and, and Atterill? Well, I hope, guys. And, of course, I'll have to cut down then cut out smoking that's going to be pretty hard but I've been doing good I've been kind of smoking only about half as much as I usually do so give that to Christmas then and I'll cut it down again and hopefully see, I can't cut it out um, completely because you know it wouldn't work I wouldn't be able to do it and it would probably do more harm than good you know. so I think cut down get it too you know Maybe three, four cigarettes a day, and then I'd have a really good chance then, you know, of you know, kicking the habit. When I found out you were in hospital, uh, uh. oh, yeah, I, I was okay. And sorry, sorry, I couldn't post um, earlier, but it just happened so quickly, and then, you know, it was an emergency. The ambulance came and they rushed me in, and all of that stuff, and. You know, a few days had passed um, before I could get my bearings right and, you know, get into Discord and, and that. Oh, that's good to hear, Harry. Right. So, my audio is, gr is good, guys, eh? Okay. That's now I can find a lighter. But apparently, uh, guys, it's stress. That's really... Messing me up. My body is producing a chemical under stress called cortisol. And that's, you know, pumping my system, let's say, full of adrenaline and cholesterol. 
and it's racing my heart way too fast as well. But apparently I was halfway there to a heart attack. You wouldn't think that literal stress would give you a heart attack, but there you go. Oh well. Yeah, but what I, I do is, you know, you could hear me light the same cigarette about six or seven times, you know what I mean? But I've I've done pretty good. I've only smoked about five cigarettes today, up till now. And usually that would be at least ten, twelve. So I'm trying. You know, I'm realistic. Um trying to quit them cold turkey, it's 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 not gonna work. And you know, even if you speak to any sensible GP, they'll tell you you've been smoking so long you'll just do more damage. If I can get my system, you know, let's say more used to a lower dose of nicotine and that and then just you know every month that goes by or every three months to cut down a little bit a little bit then i'll get it to the stage where you know i'll be kicking a habit of maybe three or four cigarettes a day instead of 20. so you know i have a way better chance yeah yeah that's the way it goes yeah yeah that's what i do and now let's say you won't be hearing me doing it as much mm. Yeah, I've been around a long time. Um, it's the only sensible way to approach it. Yeah. Yes, do as I say. Of course. I'm a big believer in that. <laughs> now, okay. Right. That was just about two puffs. Enough to keep me going for a little while. So, now, you see this? This is the quest we couldn't get morning a uh, morning never comes so what happened was and i can barely hear myself my ears are very stuffy um basically when we did the assassination uh that jester wasn't there so the whole thing was yeah gone but i fixed that now this is where we were guys if you remember you see how many i've only done now compared to what i've done before so there's a lot of quests missing, about half of them. That's the price you pay when you pay a Todd game. But I concentrated on the followers and getting out the Daedra quests. So you remember this? This is where it messed up on these contracts. We couldn't get the guy in. Off these contracts here. Century, this one wouldn't finish because the Jester wouldn't show up. So now we've done that with friends like these, and Sanctuary wouldn't finish. So now we're on this one here. Morning never comes, so it should work from here. But I didn't follow my own rules on this playthrough. It's been too long. Usually the way I work these quest lines, uh, you know, once you take out anything got to do with the quest and join it, you just literally stick on that quest, you know, the whole thing and get it over and done. Oh, hi Chris. And how are you? I'm oh, sorry, Christmas. Oh, cat lover, how have you been? It has been a while. I've been off for a little while, um, but I'm back. Yeah, I should have been on an hour or so earlier, but the universe has been conspiring against me. Uh, everything from internet outages to Xbox is not working. Oh, hi Jonathan. And thank you, and thank you. And how have you been? Now, let me get something to drink, guys, and then we'll carry on. But I've got six new uh, pills to take. Well, actually seven. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a ton of them. But if they work, I'm good with it. You know, the alternative was, you know, much worse. Although my chest is still killing me, I must admit. But it will take a while, I suppose, for that medication to, to do its do its thing. Hmm. Well, the blood pressure thing, I think that's going to be a long one. Hmm. It does, it does. Uh, to be honest, Jonathan, I was expecting mm, another seven, eight years, maybe even ten, before I got to this stage. But it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. It is what it is. Ah, well. 
Well, as I told my wife earlier, Jonathan, you know, you can't be this handsome and have everything. You know, everything can't go your way, you know. <laughs> she found it funny, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll carry on with this. But I had to start the Forsworn conspiracy as well. So we take these two out. Now, when we finish them properly, you know, we'll keep away from any other kind of quest lines doing the first first quest. Yeah. Yeah. you got to have humor in this, guys. Right. I won't say I'm very old, but I'm old. I've seen a lot. I don't regret anything. I would. You know, I've got small grandkids I would like to see for a while more, you know. But I live every day as it comes, you know, doing the best I can. And um, I'll try not to stress about it too much. Although I am a warrior, and that's what got me here, I suppose. Um, well, what can you do, you know? Okay, deep breath. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, we we'll get this contract here. So this is the one that was giving us problems. And it better not anymore. But to be honest, it's it's never um it's never bugged out on me before, Harry. This is a new one. You know, that guy not showing up. Usually what I do with that quest, or you let's say, once I kill that um you know that one in the orphanage, Gretel or whatever her name is, I do that, right? Uh, what's uh, meet that kid in Windham? I kill Gretel, and then I'd go uh, to you know that jester where he's there with the cart, and I'd get rid of him on his quest, and then I would s follow the quest line. You know what I mean? So if anything went wrong, I only had about an hour or something to go back, but I didn't do it this time. Then we got kind of fed up, and we w we did about a hundred and twenty hours. Of side quests. <laughs> yeah, just my luck. No, I haven't forgot about you, Terry. Now, the internet has been pretty dodgy here in my area, guys, with the outages. I just got it back about, um, about 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. So it should be okay, you know. I think they were doing some maintenance. But if I get cut off, we'll see. I still got credit on my phone so I can post in Discord. But we'll see what we're doing anyway. We'll see if we can get something done on this one. You get it all the time, yeah? How's your dad, Harry? I hope he's feeling better. Ah, there she is. Now, she's an evil little character, right? Um, yeah, well, basically the old woman scorned thing but I think she takes it a bit too far let's say when she wants that lady killed as well but I never do I never ever 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 do I suppose we could do it now and then bring her back to life because I've got that resurrection thing I uh, never much like playing a bad guy that's why I'm not too fond of the brotherhood Mark has been oh well tell him tell him um I appreciate his uh, concern, Terry. It is, yeah? Oh, that's that's good news. But you've got it now. But uh, you're young, you can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Your family seem, uh, seems to be pretty much like mine, Harry. Antibiotics, good. Oh, yeah, you'd want to. All right. Ah. Oh. Oh, no problem, Mary. No, I never do. Yeah. No, I never do. Um, plus, it's just... really... bad. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No, especially like, uh, this is a sister of, you know, the girl that was mor murdered during Blood on the Ice, isn't it? So, like, for that family to lose both, I, I thought it was a bit much, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I have. But uh, strangely enough, it's not from what I have been... Well, partly because of obviously what I've been eating. But apparently when you stress too much, 
Is it? It is. Oh, yeah, that's why. I, uh, well, I wouldn't do it anyway, but uh, it was a bit much, to be honest. Um, but what I stress, um, apparently it produces um, uh, cortisol and cholesterol as well. So they've given me, given me medication. But I, I'm usually pretty, well, I think I'm usually pretty go good to handle stress. But I suppose what's been happening, guys, is I've been kind of, you know, packing down that stress deep down. And it's manifesting then in, in, in other things, you know. My body has to probably do a lot for kind of keep me calm, you know. And help worries and everything else like that as well, you know. Oh, really? Oh, no, I, I would never. No, I've never done the second kill. Yeah, I've actually never done. Actually, I've only done the the three kills here. And that's it, I'm done. I never do the, you know, the ones after I never kill that elf in Whiterun. But I never do the optional kill. And what I've been doing since I got mods, Jonathan, except for the guys that only show up once, you know, that that beggar, Narfi. Yeah, I always bring him back. And that lady, uh, Miner, in Dawnstar, I bring her back as well. But the other guy is just somebody that shows up. I think that's what the Brotherhood should have doing. You know, NPCs that's not originally in the game. You know, some real bad guys. Yeah, I suppose I have no problem with that. Yeah, that's another bad kill. It is. But I told him that his sister will be back soon. Got rid of that quest, but I had to kill him to, pro to progress on this, unfortunately. And then I resurrected him. You know what I mean? So, you know, the, the game can kind of go on. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brotherhood has come. Brotherhood. Ooh! Oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. The, the, the Brotherhood, um... In Oblivion, I found more fun. It was more black and white, I suppose, in a way. It was a good few bad guys. But do you remember that um, in, in the Brotherhood? That was a hard kill. Um, that one that, say, um, you know, you give him poison. That elf. And then it was kind of fun that he was kind of a bad guy. He had a bodyguard in Bruma, was it? Where you dropped that uh, stag's head on him. Yeah, that was kind of fun. They did something similar in this during the wedding. I want him hunted down now he really deserves to die this is a pretty good kill um, plus we get uh, that axe thing he has as well I need more to go on than that I didn't know it when we were with each other but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats but I found the uh, Brotherhood questline in Oblivion much more interesting than this although you can still see Emil's the writer, Emil, you know, the head writer, you can see his paws all over that one as well, but not as much as these. And kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Not a hope. We're not killing, we're not killing Elaine. Dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. It's pretty we just can't kill her. Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Oh, she wants me to kill her aunt as well. If you can. I want you to kill someone else. Oh, for goodness sake. She wants to kill everyone. Not, as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even Not a hope. She takes over that. Mm. I'm playing Fallout 4 after two years. Yeah, it'll all be pretty nice to you again. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear oh. friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. Ah. Oh. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Ooh. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. Ooh. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Oh my. 
hi, OMG. And how have you been? Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. And yeah, why must she die? You see, I was like a daughter to Tova. Hi, OMG. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? My God, she's so untitled, isn't she? Me like garbage, threw me away. With Milsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. Ooh. Psychopath. <laughs> so how have you been, OMG? Is there anything else? To kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too. But lost my nerve. Coward. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extra. Oh yeah, she'll give us this. She'll it. give us this, yeah. Just not really. With it. Then you get the idea. No, it's not happening. That's it. Okay. Now we are not killing Shatter Shield. That's not happening. It's optional anyway, it's not too bad. But uh Elaine Me. There, control our problems. I got it back on. Elaine Dufont, uh, yeah, we're killing him. Doing okay. Ah, oh, that's good to hear, OMG. Sorry about that, Terry. Uh, my hands are a bit shaky and I kind of pushed the connector out with my hand. Oh, hi, Cord. Feeling much, much better. I still have a lot of chest pain, but you know, hopefully I'll be get to the worst of that in a few days. I'll be back to somewhat my old self. Mm. So, how have you been, Corton? What have you been up to? And you too. But my audio is back on, guys, I hope. Here, let me give it a shot now, see. There's a small skiver den just east of the city at Breachwater Rock. How do I want to do this again? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, it's working good. Oh, at least something is going well for me tonight. Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. No, no, I, I'm okay. I couldn't sleep much anyway. I've been resting for about five, six days. You know, on a hospital bed. So, yeah, I'm okay. I just needed to get back, play a little bit of this, see how you guys were getting on. You know, hang out for a while. I won't push myself too hard, Terry. We'll just take our time and we'll chat and we'll just go through the quests. Yeah. We'll be good. Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang. Now, let's go do this. Uh, this one here, so, well, we're not going after that poor lady here. We're killing that other idiot. Where is he? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. There, there. That's the one. Right, let's get to it. I had to go back a long way, guys, to get rid of this bug. But I have been grinding since I got back, and a little bit before I took ill. So, I did about 60 hours um, in record time, in about 10. Oh, hang on. Um, while I was trying to catch back up on those quests, I did change the settings on this. So I'll have to change them back, or it would be silly. Um, how do I do the settings on this again? There. There, legendary. It just made it a whole thing go really quick. And I had to redo about 50 quests. So I needed to get them done as quickly as possible. So that saved me a little bit of time. Now let's check this again. Uh, 
There we go. We're back on legendary. Right, let's do this. Now, I've got all of my skills done again, but we'll have to do a little bit of grinding later to just get me back where it was. But I had to put it back um, 122 hours. I lost. So, there was a lot. I'm only about maybe 30 hours behind now. I did a, a lot of, you know, kind of quick grinding. Getting through them really quick. Well, for days. Oh my. I know. It's horrible when that happens, Terry. But I hope you get some sleep soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, let's go, guys. <laughs> uh, oh my. But uh, you wouldn't believe um, how many quests I managed to redo in such a short space of time. You know, the ones that we had to repeat again because of that stupid bug. There's still a lot to do. But we'll get there. Oh, even a werewolf now is not maxed out again, so we'll have to um we'll have to finish the werewolf off after. There's a few perks on that. That's how far back I had to go. Remember we finished that werewolf character like weeks ago. Right. Let's go. Oh we came in here for the Lost of the Ages quest. Yeah, that will have to be redone eventually. But we'll do the ones we didn't touch here. And I'll see if I can get the other ones out in my own time. If not, we'll just do a few as well. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I can do them quickly now because we've got to mess about with um, with magic or destruction or anything like that. So now we're just here for the loot. Yeah. 100% loot. Ah. Interesting bed. Okay, that guy is kind of blind. We just clear out the front part. I'll be able to do the rest of this later when we're doing that other quest, because these these runes go on for ages. I mean, absolutely ages. Okay, that's not too bad. Now we're looking for collectibles as well, books, notes. That's our real target. Taking that for our collection, guys. Uh, see, I had to go back so far, I don't know what I've really even done on this. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one anyway. Lost to the Ages. I think that's what that quest is called. Would you ever play Minecraft because you can build? It's a little bit too retro for me. Um, I like something, but I'm not entirely kind of held up on graphics, but something with a little bit more graphics. It's too square, and I, I mean, in its 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 um in its look, you know, very very basic game. 
But maybe, you know, maybe in the future I might. And it's, yes. Yes, I think I do. <sighs> oh, that's so horrible. So sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that, Harry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really horrible. Um, I hope he doesn't suffer too much. I, I've had a lot of relatives and loved ones, you know, lost to exactly the same condition. Um, but hopefully he won't suffer too much, you know. Uh, that's so sad. Now, let me just light this little guy up and then we'll carry on. But that runs rampant in my family, Harry, and it's always been a, a concern of mine and a big stress, you know, from both sides of my family. You know, my dad, my sister, my uncles, aunts on both sides, my grandma. Yeah, goes on forever. It's a big risk in my family. Um, yeah, I, I hope... Um, you know, all you can say in a situation like that, when someone has a condition like that and it's terminal, is, you know, you hope they don't suffer too much, you know. Yeah, spend as much time as you can with a Mary, you know. Because if he's, if he's only got about four to eight weeks, um, more than half that time, will be in a kind of semi-conscious state, you know. It is a horrible, horrible disease. But that's nice, you know, all going out together like that. Well, he's lucky to have, um, you know, a good family, Harry. Yeah, I will just clear this here take him out. That's that guy. So he's a legitimate kill now. But I'm almost sure in past playthroughs, but you never know each time you download this game. I've I've killed him sometimes early and then, you know, way, way early in a game. Especially you know, in the first few times I've played this game. And you kind of get the option to say, well, you know, I've already killed him. So he's got a pretty nice um, little um, My opponent is so paralyzed with terror. No words will come. Let's do that. Well, we'll do the Irish ninja on these guys just for fun. You can't hide from me. Ninja. <laughs> Over a year. Yeah. We're lots of times, yeah. Yeah, making the most of it. And he's got kids and a family as well. It makes it so much harder, doesn't it? Hmm. In a situation like that, it's it, 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 it's it's horrible, you know, because you have absolutely no control. You know, no matter what you're willing to do, you know, take the medication or. You know, like, let's say, some other afflictions um, or operations or whatever the case may be. There's it's just so hopeless, isn't it? I remember when my dad went through that. I know he was hiding it from us for a long time. And it got to the stage where, you know, he had to tell us, I suppose, because he couldn't hide it any longer. 
But um, from the time he told us, let's say, and the time he passed away was about 10 weeks. It was a very, very advanced um, stomach, uh, stomach cancer. Yeah. But the one that surprised me the most was my sister. You know, had a tiny kind of piece of rough skin on her head. And um, she went to her GP. Oh, well, thank you, Harry. Um, it's very, very hard losing a family member to that. Um, because, you know, it's not fast. Um, you know, let's say if you have a heart attack or something like that, it's, you know, it's pretty quick. But when you see your loved one, let's say, wasting away for a month in pain, that leaves an impression. You know? It does. But she went to her GP, uh, and he said, oh, you know, it's just a bit of rough skin on your head. You know, when you're showering, you use a rough towel, all of that kind of stuff. I should say she said, uh, her doctor. Um, about six months later, it wasn't going away, and she wasn't really happy. But um, she went back in to said doctor, and uh, that doctor was away on a holiday, and there was a locum doctor in her place. So he had a quick look at it, and he was kind of concerned. So he sent her to a specialist. It was a very, very, very rare form of skin cancer. So from that diagnosis, she passed away about three months later. Because of that, that was horrible. That really took me by surprise. Oh, hi, um, Dragon. Dragon of Old War. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. And welcome to the community. Let me get my reading glasses to make sure I've read that properly. It is Dragon of Old War. And how have you been? You don't mind if I call you just, let's say, a dragon. So, yeah, I know how it feels to lose members of your family to such a despicable disease. Now let's get our junk. Well, that's our kill, guys. And you see that? That's what we're really here for. That's our little collector's piece. And that's, um... Here, we don't need any invisibility here. That's the one we'll be putting up for display. Of course, we'll do our... little... bit of, um... Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Let's clean this place out. We'll be coming back here. Oh! We'll be coming back later anyway, during the Lost of the Ages quest. As far as I know. And then we should be good. Oh, well thank you, uh, Dragon. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, it would be. 100% agree, Terry. You know, mother, father, sibling. Yeah, but I would say especially a mother. It is, um, Dragon. It bugged out nasty. We lost about 120 hours. So, I, um... I reloaded, let's say, uh, got it back in working order. And, let's say, for the time I had off streaming, I was kind of speed running uh the other quest that we already already did and um i got quite ill um or, uh, at the same time so about a week in hospital and i'm just out again today this is my first stream since then and i've been doing a little bit on this earlier today i'd love to see what you think of dragonborn oh yeah i'm definitely going to do that jonathan um there's just some other stuff I've just got to kind of sort. But I fully intend to switch to PC. I pretty much had it with Xbox, you know. Because by the time Xbox will come out with some decent games that I want to play again, the chances are I won't be here to play them, Jonathan. So, yeah, uh, I think I'm better off going with PC. Yeah. Well, I have some good news. Oh, that's good, Court. My health is far greater than it was. 
this time a year ago. That's absolutely great news. That is great news. I lost my brother to war. Oh my. Since we're talking about losing members of the family. Just guess. Oh, that's, that, that's okay. That's not a problem. Losing a family member to anything is always, you know, pretty, pretty hard. You know, even if it is, let's say, in defense, you know, of your country and doing your patriotic duty. You know, a loss is a loss. You're taken from your life regardless. You know, whether it's from an accident or from war or from disease. The loss of them in your life is felt the same, you know. Oh, hi, blonde. Yes, feeling a bit better. I'm still pretty tight. I'm pretty sore in the chest area. So I've been kind of taking it easy on this. But I hope you've been well. My hearing seems a little funny as well. I feel like I've been traveling on a plane, you know. And, um, you know, that kind of, my ears feel very stuffy. It's like I can hear my own voice resonating in my body. Hmm. Oh, yeah, of course, dragon. Oh, yeah, which will make you really remember it then, yeah. Oh, my, and then you receive the card after. Oh, my. My condolences, uh, dragon, for the loss of your brother, you said, wasn't it? I lost a sister. Um, I'm the youngest of my family, and I'm pretty old. So... You know, once you get old, you'll, you'll be no stranger to loss. Oh, that's good to hear, blonde. You know, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Um, the shot you've been getting is that, that kind of, um, that silicone thing they put on the joints, or is it just some kind of, um, yeah, yeah, that's what I have now. I don't know, maybe it's a new medication they put me on. You know, for my cholesterol and my heart and um, my blood pressure and all of that. Yeah, probably. It'll take a bit of getting used to. I've only been on this medication here about three days or so. But I still can't shake this chest pain. But as long as my heart is beating properly and my blood pressure is reasonably okay, we'll stick with it and see if this medication kicks in. Now, yeah, let's do a little bit of looting in here, guys. But we won't be killing that. No, we're not killing Shadow Shield. That's just, you know, rubbing it in a bit too much. It's a pretty bad, bad kill. I've now got a nine story building on my head, Red Rocket. <laughs> Okay, that's just me being awkward having to loot this stuff. And then of course we have the fun of selling all this junk. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, just a few more pieces here and then we're out of here. I'm collecting those for some strange reason. I think they missed a great opportunity with those dynamo thingies. Um, let's say in your hard far homes to have some kind of power system that required them would be cool. I suppose there's tons of mods for that. But they're pretty cool looking junk. It's a pity there's no real use for them. That's it, we're good. We don't have to go through there, guys. That would just bring us down to get... Uh, that piece of junk from Lost from the Ages. We're good. Now, we'll go back and, um, yeah, we'll just talk to her. We won't be killing that that poor lady in Wilhelm. Um, okay, we are a, a werewolf, guys. So, I think we'll, we'll use this opportunity to do a bit of eating. I think I need a few more perks on that. Because I went back uh, 120 hours, you know, few little bits in that will have to be done as well. 
I'm playing Minecraft on nice and listening to my stream. And a follower made a team song about and from me. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, blonde. Eat, yeah. <laughs> now, okay. Uh, well, I say, oh yeah, we're doing the werewolf thing. Right, let's do this. There's just a few more of the perks I need. And then we'll be good. I do it this way instead of killing people. I just come in and clear a large dungeon, feed on the bodies. Yeah, you get it done pretty quick this way. Don't need to go full werewolf on this. Okay. Ah, uh, there are a few guys outside might still be around. Probably. Of course, we'll eat them as well. Uh, I think there's a few guys to the side. That guy up here. I think there was, what, two or three of them here. Oh, there's one. And I think one in the bedroom, isn't it? Ish, maybe? Yeah, yeah. That's it. And one guy on the way out, and... I don't know. If we're lucky, the few guys outside might not have despawned. Probably. Rise, Granny Vats, yeah? <laughs> now, okay. That's how it is. Ooh. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we still got a few bodies we can feed on. So, we'll finish the Brotherhood quest line right out, making sure it doesn't bug again. No guarantee of that, but getting the quests out as quickly as possible. You know, leaving them too long will greatly increase our odds. Um, then we'll have to do that. You know that mine quest in Markart? Oh, yeah. We'll be getting rid of that one as well. That can be a bit of of a potential buggy quest. Come on, eat. That's not bad. Um, right, let's see if this guy will... Okay. So we've only got two more. Just two more to go, guys. And we've maxed out that werewolf. I don't think it's worth our while to run around here. If we actually meet a person, we'll get a bounty for some reason. Okay. That's good enough. So, we'll get rid of the junk we have, drop off what we need, and we'll go back, we'll hand in that quest, get back to the Brotherhood, and see what they want from there. Come on. Did you notice that? When did that happen, guys? I went off Skyrim for a while. Usually when you're a werewolf and you change back, you, you usually have to re-equip all your junk again. You know, it wouldn't be equipped like this again. I wonder how long that, how long ago that happened. Yeah, you see how it's all equipped? Yeah, before you'd have to literally go in manually and do this, which was annoying. Now, um, uh, this lady here has a, um, she's got a, a delivery thing, isn't it, don't star? Would, uh, anniversary edition? Ah, uh, probably, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's a little one there, I suppose, we could take out. Yeah, I don't really remember doing this before. Yeah, I noticed it as well, yeah. Oh, hi, Mike. And how have you been? It's been a while. Hope you've been well. So, um, what time is it? Ah, it's a bit too late to take that quest now. That's only messing, really. Uh, right, have we got that sailor's report? That's an interesting quest. Um, it's back here. Oh, we did do it. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? But we have to redo that Scooby-Doo quest as well. That ghost in... Um, uh, I understand. Um, right, let's go back. We shall not be killing Nilsine under no circumstances. Oh, that's good to hear. Not too bad. This is my first day back in about a week. Um, I've been in hospital um, for the last week uh, and managed to get out, you know, eventually to release me. And um, yeah, I got back into streaming, kind of, you know, taking my time. But now I've got, oh my, I think eight or nine pills I've got to take. And so I have a good bit of chest pain, but it's it's manageable. You know, it's not as bad as it was when I went in. And that was, that was pretty scary, to be honest. But I managed to get my heartbeat under control and my blood pressure, so we'll see how it goes. Nice. <laughs> Good night, Terry, and thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. I know it's quite late for you. And you need to get some rest. So, take care and have a great day, Terry. Bye. Now, what we will do is... i just get something to drink, and we better stick with the Brotherhood until we finish it. And it's not too bad, because we did the Return of the Queen thing in... Um, what's it called? Solitude. So after the assassination, we have a pretty clean getaway from there. Ah, uh, there we go. Right. <laughs> now. Okay. Um, I have cut down the cigarettes a lot, so I'm aiming to get them down to half the volume, and then Christmas, yeah, get them down some more, and within about 12 months or more, maybe, I'll you know, eventually cutting them out, but it's going to be a big job, oh, I'll see how it goes. Now, well, what news? Is Elaine? In the front, no lies, dead. Got exactly what he deserved. But last time, well, she deserves to die more than he does, I think. Decided not to kill her as well. I have to admit. Yeah, I was. Um, I have got very, very high blood pressure and some heart problems, uh, Mike. And um. About a week ago, um, I was pretty bad. I was rushed uh, to hospital. They kept me there about a week, uh, doing a ton of tests and stuff. Um, I have an unusually slow heartbeat, and my blood pressure, I think at one stage it was one f 153 over 108. Um... Also, there's uh, an enzyme your heart produces, let's say, when it's under stress. Um, I think the normal reading for anyone with a healthy heart would be something like 14. Uh, mine was 50. So they had to get that down as well. Apparently, what the doctor was telling me, 100 and over, it's in the hundreds. 100 and over is 
you know, heart attack. So got halfway there, you know. But I've got a lot of medication for it. I've been fine tuning it uh, over the last week, and um, yeah, I should be okay. My kid is what it is, and I'll make the best of it. You know, should be okay as long as I take it easy and don't do anything silly. I suppose. Yeah, it's hard to keep a, an old dog down. <laughs> so how have you been, Mike? Oh, my dog always awoke. My dog always missed me dreadfully as well. And now they won't leave me. <laughs> I'm not going away again, Toby. <laughs> you, you can go asleep. <laughs> He's afraid to go asleep. <laughs> now. Yeah. Report back to Astrid. Perfect. Now, we'll clear up the small quests here later. We'll kind of take our time going through those. Uh, we start selling then. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, we'll go back. I thought she wanted to kill um, her aunt and take over the store. Well, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I've already done the little thingy here. Can anyone remember... It's a very, very obscure quest. Somebody wants something delivered to this guy. Ah, that's what we'll do. We'll do this game properly. Once I finish these two quest lines, we'll go to a town. We'll literally speak to everyone. We'll pick up every possible quest. I'm sure we'll find it. Need a new blade? Mm. I've always forgotten how blood pressure should work. Uh, if you learn magic, throw it at me. I do that. We're good people. Oh, apparently normal um, would be... What is it again, guys? Uh, 120 over 80, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's what it is. 120 over 80. Mine was 153 over 108. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good. Ah, uh, but it's not too bad, you know. At least, you know, I'm getting something done for it. It could have been much worse. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, my, lying in a hospital bed, blonde, it's um, cruel and unusual punishment. And then waiting for the test to come true, not knowing what they're going to say. You know, at one stage there, I thought they were going to, you know, really slice me up. And uh, that was pretty worrying. But it is nice to get out, so, you know, as long as I'm careful, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yes, as well as could be expected, Mike. Thank you. Ah. That's nice of you to say, Mike. I really should be getting some sleep, but I can't stop playing for... Oh, yeah, you've been off for a while. I'm the same with a game. Well, my favorite games when I've been off them for quite some time. Um, okay, let's... No, we can't do that yet. Take a look. I want to deal with the Earl here before I start doing this. Uh, there's a, an unusual bug that happens in this game sometimes. You know where you got to help three people to get that tame thing? Well, if you've helped more than three in beforehand, once you finish the tame quest, the objective still stays up, saying help three people. Eight out of three or nine out of three. Eh, it's rare, but... It's best not to, to rush that one. Been the same. Yeah, I haven't really been much good at getting sleep. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the other guys here should. Hey, let's go into what's her face. I've I've kept away from this lady here because of the contract. So let's have a look. We'll pick up our little quests later. There's a few delivery ones and that kind of stuff.
Yeah, you're better off when you feel needed to just relax and take it easy, blonde. Okay. The hag's cure is here for all your discreet needs. I was under the impression she wanted her dead as well. Oh no no. I have it wrong. If you come in here and assassinate her, kill her. Just for no reason even. Oh, I'm taking that as well. Um she'll actually take over the store so she's a backup. Nah, that's what I was trying to think of. The most effective poison to kill a man. Potion to make others fall in love, perhaps. Yeah, I've been collecting those books. There. Oh, I see. Okay. I have potion. Take a look. There's one ingredient I'm looking for as an ornament, but she hasn't got it, so that's okay. Now, what I want to do is I will sell the book. And then buy it back. That stolen one. Now, we buy it back. There. Nice and laundered. Right, okay. Let's get rid of this junk. Nice. Potion. Well, we're keeping that. They're unique. Oh, yeah. We're keeping that. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, right, we just one more thing to sell. We'll drop these off at Lakeview, you know, just for a moment. And yeah, we'll keep we'll keep on this brotherhood thing. And we'll get that under our belt and get it done. Then we'll come back here and we'll do that city of mine. I would advise anyone doing that to kill those guys inside. Don't let them out. Yeah, definitely don't let them out. I'll try and kill them early and see how it goes. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried that before. I'll do a save anyway and we'll see. That'll be pretty easy to kill once I get that shiv inside. Now, let's go. Are you looking for a gift for... Let's see what adornments I might have available. Oh, well, we did save Margaret here anyway, so, you know. That's definitely a, a good thing. And I'll properly clear out the quests here later. I think that's the best way to do it. Instead, this time we'll stick from town to town, clearing out all the quests. Getting it over with. Giving it a good search, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, it's it's pretty easy enough if you're strong enough. You know, the second you get here, just run here with your sword out like this. Yeah. Kind of come from this end and then just clip him. Just be very, very careful. It's very easy to hit someone else. But save outside the gate, you know. But she's alive. She's in there now. She's pretty good. But I remember... Before mods, I think there's like five or six of these in the game. These were very popular. Yes. Yeah, and now with mods, you can really get what you want. Kind of takes the fun out of the unique stuff, doesn't it? But I do with it. Yeah. <laughs> now. Uh, okay, we're going back to the Brotherhood, aren't we? Oh no, hang on. We get rid of that junk at Lakeview. And I just pour it all into one chest and then I'll sort it out later. Lakeview, Lakeview, Lakeview. There we go.
Oh, yeah. We'll be keeping that guy. Oh, I forgot to sell the stupid arrows. Oh. That's good enough. Um, just get rid of these ingredients inside, and then we'll, yeah, we'll head out and we'll finish that quest line. Yeah, <laughs> no problem, um, Mike. If if blonde is good with it, also. Now, we are reporting uh, back to Astrid. Oh yeah, I've got to clean out the Dark Brother Sanctuary as well. I don't mind doing it here because it gets destroyed uh, a little bit later. And it's a real mess then, but we'll, we'll clean out uh, the, uh, this quest line. has given me a lot of problems. Ah, oh, well, as long as you're good with it, I don't, I don't mind. Now, let's see if I picked up that. You see, to get the this unbugged, I had to rush through a lot. So I'm not sure if I cleared this little place out. Probably not. Uh Oh, I have. I've taken the gem, apparently. Oh, I didn't forget that one anyway. But we can take this now, guys. Because as I said, this place gets burned to the ground. So look around for anything interesting, of course, of course. Uh da -da. Well, the other stuff, uh, it's all pretty common. Lost Legends. I think we've done that already. Uh, okay. I think I've taken most of this junk, have I? I have. I've taken this stuff from there. Uh -huh. Um, I probably have. We'll talk to you, Astra, in a minute. Yeah, one moment. Uh, okay, the guy has moved in. Let's make sure he's moved into that room. We've got our word of power. And let's see, is he down here? Don't bug out on me, Cicero. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I was worried there for a moment because that was one stage of the quest that was really badly bugged. But we seem to be okay. Uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, let's see if I got that little note. That's the only thing else I'm interested in here. And to pick up any kind of junk we have, obviously. No, I think I've pretty much... What's this? Yeah. I think I've pretty much cleared it then. The note was down here on this guy. Sorry, spider. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're good. Alright, where's that little kid? Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. We can sell that to someone else. Right. We are done here. Let's get deeper into this little quest line. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first mm. year contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? So, where, where are we in the game? Yeah, the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, we were doing this before, just before I got ill, Mike, and we found a massive bug. Cicero wasn't spawning. So I tried every trick in the book, and I mean every trick in the book, to no avail. So I literally had no choice but to reload 
before we joined the Dark Brotherhood. The problem with that is after we joined the Dark Brothers, it's partly my fault because, you know, I, I, I kind of, I knew of this bug, and I had steps to avoid it. But what we did then is when we joined it, we kind of got a little bored. We went off and we did like 120 hours of, of really, you know, interesting quests and and stuff like that, and then came back to that to find it was bugged. So I did the last. 10 or 15 hours before I got ill, a little bit after, kind of speed running the quests um, that we have to redo, uh, especially the 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 Daedra ones. I think they're all done now. I, I speed run them, you know, pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, well, we'll just see how it goes. But this is where we are, yeah, on this. So, yeah. No. No. We took out that little quest that was there. But on console, no. Um, you see, the Cicero that you see at the farm in Whiterun, it's literally not the Cicero that appears in the Dark Brotherhood. They're different coding, it's different ID. It's not like, let's say, Cicero appears there, and then the same Cicero with the same coding will spawn, let's say, at at um, at the Sanctuary. There are actually two different characters, you know, in the game, that is. I'm really sure the, the ID coding is a little different. But um, what usually happens, let's say, uh, it's when... You start, and it's it's rare enough when you start the Brotherhood quest line, um, and you discover that little area, and you just leave it for too long. It, it can happen. So you're better off to you know before you start these quest lines, and that's a known bug with Cicero. Um, let's say you know when you meet that guy in Windhelm, you do the assassination. So don't do that until you're prepared to carry out all of the quests. Do that, and then get into it. Once you pass this part here with Cicero, that's you know, that's the crest. Once you, once you get that done and this bug out, you're pretty safe for the rest of it, you know. Yeah, but I think that's that's the way it, it almost always was. But usually, yeah, I would leave that one just in case it's not the end. I was kind of blaming it, but it was silly for me to blame doing that quest too early. Because I'm almost certain it's not literally the same guy, you know. But it's the first time it's ever caught me, Mike. Well, no. Actually, it caught me once before. That's why I took the procedures. But that would have been about 15, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Good while, anyway. A few mo well, about six, eight months after this came out. Yeah, it caught me before. I own, I live only to serve. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, she loves to hear that stuff. Indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of... Oh, sorry, I've been missing what you're saying, Glenn. ...personal nature. So, okay. It's the one that's been coming to my stream. Asking personal questions. And creeping me out. And that's not cool. You mentioned that before, Blonde. No, it's not. Well, personal questions on social media is not cool. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... <laughs> well... Well, that's horrible. Understatement. Do you think it will be a, a problem in future Bond? He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic mm. tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? Oh, I see. Treachery. Mm. We must stop them. So you understand my fear. 
if scissors mm. um, Some people will keep doing that, you know, a little bit more. The ten does time because all the ten to wear you down. But if it's, um, you know, if it's if it's creeping you out and if it's causing you any stress, um, maybe it's best to get done with it, Bond. Or y I suppose you've asked, obviously. And that's the first thing I would do. I would ask if they weren't so forward. So, you know, yeah. And if that didn't work, then, you know, for the good of yourself and the community to um, exercise it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, life's too short. You're just delaying the inevitable, I think. You should be ke keeping your stress levels down, uh, blonde. You know, it, it it usually always goes into something more. Okay, okay, we'll just do this in a minute. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Yeah, you tend to make allowances, obviously. But have you spoken to this person and saying that what they're saying is making you feel uncomfortable? I know it can be embarrassing to say that, but you know you don't want to. Yeah, but you might have to. Oh, I see. Um, you know there are a few uh, kind of long-term trolls. Uh, these guys play psychological games, and they'll use a disguise, you know, of something like that, and. They really, you know, get their kicks from doing stuff like that. But, yeah, you could, you know, you don't have to, you know, embarrass him, um, let's say, online. You could DM him and explain that this, you're not comfortable with the situation. And then if they don't heed that, they're obviously there to, to cause um, stress and that, and that's the last thing you need, you know. <laughs> true, Mike, true. Uh. Yeah, yeah. But if it keeps up, um, you might have to, you know. And I know you'll feel pretty lousy for doing it, and, and I do as well when I eventually have to kick someone, and I give them more than the benefit, you know, of the doubt. There's... As you get to know someone, um, obviously you'll be a lot more, more lenient, but and there can be limits, obviously, you know. Yeah. Okay, let me get something to drink. I'm starting to dehydrate. I love if I could get rid of this chest pain. Oh, okay. Hopefully within a few days. Mm. 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 Yeah, well, uh, you made that clear. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, not only is it stressing you out, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people watching as well. It's uncomfortable, so you're not just protecting yourself, you know. You're protecting. You're protecting your community as well. Because we all come here, you know, just to hang out and chat and have fun, and that, and you know, we have nice communities. You know, we've built up blonde over time so you know we can't dilute that you know we all come here let's say just to hang out and have, have fun or chat or whatever the case may be and it's not much good if we're feeling uncomfortable you know we can get plenty of that stuff at home you know yeah yeah but sometimes blonde 
it starts off that way. You know, what to do is, uh, I think you might have even mentioned yourself to start, you know, every day or every week pushing it a little further, a little further, a little further. And the fact that we're talking about it, you know, means that it's stressing you. You know, there is some people that would um, uh, find that entertaining or find it um, to get her kicks, you know, from stressing people out. And that's not good. You know, that's the kind of people we need to stay clear of. And there is lots of them out there. Hmm. It does sometimes, or sometimes it can escalate the situation. But uh, again, if the message is not getting through, just ban. Yeah. Oh, hi, Pyro. Yes, very, very sharp, Pyro. Um, especially as a lady, I 100% agree. It's not too bad for me. Uh, I don't get much of that stuff. You know, um, because, you know, the membership and the viewership on Twitch is, is overwhelmingly male. So, you know, but uh, as a lady, you, you've got to be, you know, even that much more vigilant. Yeah, you warn him, he keeps at it. You warn him, he keeps at it. And then three strikes, you're out, uh, blonde kind of thing. Because, you know, if you think about the stress, you know, over time, you know, as a word, I know you want to be nice. I want to be nice as well. You know, but, you know, we've got to keep our stress levels down. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, the viewers are well as well. And that's saying, you know, is making them feel kind of, you know, a bit stressed as well. Hi, John. And how have you been? I'm feeling a bit better. Thank you. Yeah, I just... Um, this is my first stream. It's, uh, since I came back, I'm so pretty tight and sore in the chest area. But I've got a ton of medication, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, uh, it, it, the tests worked out a lot better than I than I thought it would. So I'm really, really happy with that. But it's been made very, very clear to me to keep my stress down, and. Um, a lot of other things because you know my next little episode might not be as um well how could I put this yeah might not go as well yeah 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 and if it's not changing over time you know you don't want to be stressed every time blonde you know as as pyro said um you know, life's too short. Uh, yeah, but they will come back after a while again. I'm sure that he's playing a lot of other challenges as well with yours, you know. Why, thank you, Pyro. And thank you for your concern. I appreciate that. Oh, hi, Slot. And how have you been? And good evening to you. Hope you've been well. And how have you been? Yes, back doing a little bit of Skyrim. And how's your day been? Now, <coughs> oh my, <coughs> one moment. <coughs> oh. So, now. Your first now, I need your... It's, but it's who is he speaking with? Oh, this is this is actually kind of fun in this part. Good, nice, was an easy night tonight. Well, that's good. So you understand my fear. If Cicero's planning something and can spy uh, this is where we get own, it would be disastrous. Yeah, this is where we get locked in the coffin, isn't it? What do you want me to do? Dear brother. I need you to steal into Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of fun. Eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. 
No. no matter how bad a quest line is, let's say in, in Skyrim, there's a good few bits that's kind of pretty interesting and kind of unique. A lot of things that were lacking in Starfield. Um, but that seems so. Yes, the coffin is perfect. Yeah, we we'll go with the disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. You need to remain unseen. Fair enough. Before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. All right. That's it. Okay, we got rid of that quest about time. And we have Whispers in the Dark. Nah. Okay. There we go. Whispers in the Dark. Here we go. Na 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 na. There it is there. Now, let's see. Oh! Okay. Okay, hang on. Did we take everything from here? We did. Okay. We're doing a little bit of novice log picking. Perfect. Oh my, it's the wife. This is like going to bed with a wife. This is bad. Okay. There we go. Eavesdrop on Cicero. I played. Oh, Life is Strange. Nice. Before the storm. Awesome game. Cool. But I'm planning to sell my PlayStation 5. I think. I'm changing my life a bit and focus on... Yeah, well, that's good as well, John. Yeah. <laughs> Although she's a little bit more attractive than the wife. I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know. Oh. Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about <laughs> you? <laughs> Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking. The and stalking, the stalking. The seeing and the saying. Yeah, I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing and the saying. <laughs> no, never. Cicero understands. And that's what you should say, um, blonde, to you know the next person you're uncomfortable. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. <laughs> Won't you, sweet night mother? Yeah. Oh, Cicero, dear Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Of course, I'm the, the listener, and the Archmage, and the Dragonborn, and the leader of the Companions. <laughs> oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you, you are the one. That's what that's what the wife said to me as well. Never trust anyone that says you are the one. Never ends well. I give you this task. Journey to Wallenroo. Oh. Oh, yeah, the guy for the contract, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're getting close to that assassination. Yes, and end up getting married. It's all downhill. I was watching Harry Potter. I watch them all every year or two with my sons, but especially Lord of the Rings. Uh, until I saw you were on. Ah, you sound completely recharged. I hope you can keep this level of energy. There's a lot of um, stress removed. Okay, it's not all good news, but it wasn't as bad as, as I thought, Pyro. You know. And that is a big burden. I'm so sore, and I still don't really know where it's going, but 
It's not as bad as I thought. You know, if I can manage to keep my stress levels low, I should be okay. You know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I'll have to really, really rest. I've always ended up single when Alas has said, I'm the one. <laughs> the night mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. <laughs> I'm still finding it very hard to move from my chest. And I am the listener. Wait, she said, to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tone. I think I'll use that um, blonde as my kind of um, response to uh, trolls in the future. I do the talking and the stalking. <laughs> and then and then ban them. <laughs> it's a good little catchphrase. She has chosen you. Oh, hi John. And how have you been? There we go. Talk to Astrid. Aha. I've seen a mod where you can actually play as a kind of Cicero character. Interesting, I suppose. Cicero and Astrid may be the best voice actors. Yeah, they're pretty good. Maybe. Hail the listener. <laughs> Let me see, voice acting. Do you know the voice actor? Oh, you know, you've, you've got one guy doing a ton of voices here, and it's the same with most. Um... The guy that does, and he does a ton of voices, um, but it just screams Skyrim. Um, you know that uh, that store right beside the herbalist in, in Whiterun? You know that guy? Yeah. That absolutely screams Skyrim to me. What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Yay! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. That's the guy. Yeah, that just screams Skyrim to me. Are you all right? Bellator. That's the guy. Uh, yes, I'm fine. What mischievous name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. <laughs> what? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just... <laughs> Cicero, yeah. And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. To you. Now. To you. <laughs> Correct. Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amon Montier. How would we pronounce that, guys? Volnrude, is it? Yeah. Amon I think. Montier? I have no idea who that is. Montier, okay. Volnrude, I got that right at least. And I, know where it is. I always do. Never kill them, not even once. Yeah, High Rock, I think, yeah. Should I go to Volnrude? I should talk to this man. Mm. I. Oh, this is where we get uh, the amulet thing for payment. Are we clear on that? The night mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. Oh, you really need to be patient, to she? Yeah. I, I need well, he's a decent fool. I don't bring him, but he's do some work for him. he's funny. He's annoying as well, but he's he's funny. But he's um he's a tough he's a tough little guy, I'm telling you. Yeah, he definitely needs a sim pack. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 
But I've found the story and the quest in this to be much better. But again, it's it's um, it's subjective, really, isn't it? Um, but what does it for me, Harry, in Fallout 4 is the building. But you've got the building, you've got the nice open map, and you've got the quests as well. It's really got it all, you know. It is in that sense. It's a pity about the building. But I think they've squished so much into this. You know, and from its core down, you're never going to be able to do the building thing here on this. But imagine a game, guys, as good as Skyrim, with really great graphics, but would have a building system, let's say, like in Shrouded or something like that. Build your own castle, you know, get your followers to kind of man the castle. You know, I don't know, will we ever reach that kind of level in gaming where we could get something, you know, where everything kind of meets together in a kind of perfect storm. Oh well, who knows. That is true as a joke, but when you try to kill him, he's very tough. But you know what really, really I found humorous, Jonathan, in this? Is outside the Dawnster Sanctuary, when he cut up that um, werewolf real bad. <laughs> Uh, I remember the first time I've ever seen that, and I was literally in tears laughing for hours after. And it's, it still kind of gets me, you know. I absolutely love that. The humor in that was absolutely brilliant. Little sparks like that in the game, like, uh, you know, it's those little things, you know, that keeps um, a game like this alive for so long, you know, these memorable things. You know, that little bit of humor a little bit of decent quest writing here and there. And there's just about enough in this, you know. There's obviously parts of this that could be improved, you know. Like, let's say, even in Oblivion, you know. Depends on what you think. Yeah. Such things should be taken away from games like this. It's real. Should not be taken. Yeah, it's real. It and unfortunate that it is. Don't pretend. Yeah, I know where you're going with this, and I totally agree, Mike. Um, the little things, the real things. Um, I don't like racism, obviously, but like comedy, guys. Um, you know, uh, I watch comedians, let's say, that are always making jokes about the Irish. I don't find any offence in this. This is just comedy, and gaming is the same. I know you'll get people that will say it will, and I suppose it can a little bit influence the way you think. Um, and then they'll say, oh, well, you know, we're showing this to kids and whatever the case may be. But I think it's best to keep it in there because it is in the game. And, you know, you realize that it's only acceptable in games, in a sense. You know, but literally taking it out, it's like, you know, you have some kind of subject in school um, let's say, and you just remove it completely, you know. Jimmy, yeah, it has to be Jimmy, yeah. I know he's really offensive, but he's he's, he's gotten on a lot, Harry. Yeah, Jimmy is awesome, you know. Um, he toned down a lot of his stuff, let's say, for the BBC programs, like, you know, he had have ten cats and, and that stuff, you know. And he, of course, he did the countdown thing. Um... But my favourite would be Jimmy. But on the other end of the spectrum, um, you know, uh, oh, uh, there's another, well, he's a comedian, he's an actor, he's a writer. Um, he did the voice in Fable Tree. Uh, he did the film Oscar Wilde, uh, British. Uh, again, he had his own show on BBC. Uh, my brain has gone blank, my apologies. It goes like this sometimes. Um, Stephen Fry. Yeah, Stephen Fry. That's the guy. Stephen Fry is one of my all-time favourites. Um, great guy, you know. Yeah, Stephen. I, I used to watch him a lot. He was so much fun on the likes of Blackadder and that. And I've watched his career through the ages. Um, you know, really nice guy. Very down to earth. And you can see things. He's kind of... Billy is, is awesome as well. Yeah. Yeah, Billy is awesome. I've never really found... I don't find comedy offensive in the least. Um, 
But uh, I know there's certain things where you can push it too far. Yeah. Oh, anything. Absolutely anything. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the point. Yeah. But it's always been that way, guys. You know, comedy has always been that way. It's only lately where people are finding offence, you know, to something that's always been there. But I do not condone racism in real life. But y you've got to distinguish between fact and fiction, you know. Hmm. I've encased a rocket in glass. Nice. I most definitely should check it out sometime. I love the Black Outer cast, yeah. Hugh Laurie. He went on to do that house thing in the US, didn't he? Yeah, there was Hugh Laurie, Stephen Fry, and of course, Ron Atkinson. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the BBC had a golden age from from the 60s right up to maybe... Maybe the late 80s, you know. But now they're pumping out a lot of rubbish, you know. Yeah, a lot of stuff that's, you know, pointless. He's Yeah, he's brilliant. Um, the likes of um, Bottom, you remember that? Uh, that was, uh, oh, what's his name? He had that um, motorbike accident and Eddie something. You remember the guys from Bottom? Uh, again, my brain is gone. Um, do you remember they did that movie as well? Hotel Paradiso. Yeah. Rick Mayo, that's the guy. Rick Mayo, yeah. That's one of my favourites. There's one in particular that's really funny called Gas. One episode. You remember the one where he sold his kidneys? <laughs> That was just, you know, yeah. Is Oh, that's his name. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh, it's Eddie Hitler. It was his um, his kind of uh, stage name on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Blackadder Goes Fort. Yeah, that was set in the trenches of World War One. Yeah, that, that was pretty funny. Yeah, funny, funny guy. Some really great British comedians, yeah. That was good. Blackadder Deterred. Uh, was it second that, that that big guy from Flash Gordon was in? Brian Blessed. Uh, remember, he was the king, or was that the very first one, Blackadder? I think Brian was in that really kind of loud, um, large guy beard. I think his name was Brian Blessed, yeah. The butler, yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Can never forget only Of course, only fools and horses. Yeah. And he did um The Darling Buds of May as well. Yeah, I remember that. He did another one as well where he worked in a store, you remember that? With the guy from Porridge. Yeah, Brian was the first, yeah. The black hatter, yeah. Nice. 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 Yeah, he is, yeah. I re remember that 80s uh, Flash Gordon? He was in that as well, wasn't he? I really like those old kind of corny movies. I receive a side contract. Okay, we'll get this side contract. Um, right. right. Then the listener thing. Will the night matters? Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> you gotta love this guy, Cicero. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there was Porridge. Uh, that old guy from that as well. I would, um, oh, his daughter is an actress. Uh, that werewolf thing. Uh, Beckinsale. David Beckinsale. Yeah. Kate Beckinsale would be his daughter. Yeah, uh, she did that werewolf vampire thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Porridge, yeah. Open all hours, that's it, the one. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to think of, correct. I have to get my scram fixed so I sh can finish my playthrough. Nice. 
Will the Nightmare speak to me again? Yes, yes. Agreed. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. Ooh, okay. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. <laughs> Cicero, did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. I tried so hard. <laughs> but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. Ah. Oh. The silence became almost... Underworld, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was pretty okay, yeah. Was then, this is now. I think I had them all on DVD at one, DVD at one stage. Yeah, my sons used to be kind of really big into the kind of werewolf thing. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking so as well, blonde. What exactly does the listener do? Yes, oh, with Hugh Jackman, I thought that was good. Yeah. Hugh Jackman on that. But when the night Not so sure about the Dracula kind of thing, you know. You must. There's another kind of humorous one uh, that kind of shame director back in the 60s. Uh, the Fearless Vampire Killers. Uh, they did the whole thing, and that, that, was, that was pretty funny. You remember his, um, his wife and uh, unborn child was killed by the Manson family? Yeah. But he was in that one, the fearless vampire killers. I might watch that again. That was that was a pretty humorous vampire movie. Yeah, really, really comedic. Yeah. It was such a missed yeah, opportunity. Could have been a series. Do a different monster each film. That would have been interesting. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Well, a lot of you know successful actors really keep away from the series thing. Um, it tends to stop their career in movies, you know, in its tracks if they get associated with something for too long. So you can't kind of blame them for you know wanting to do different things all the time. You know, keep their career going as much as possible. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things Blade was funny at times. Yes, yeah, and I like that kind of thing. You know. The Night Mother's crypt in Braville was... Yeah, we so do we need to really talk to him? Such was my honor. Ah, I just... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, forget about it. That, that guy will talk forever. Right, let's see about this contract. Uh, contract, contract, contract. Contract, contract, contract. Oh, you might have some stuff. There it is. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, let's see what she... Oh. Chokeberries. Yeah, she's got some interesting stuff. Well, she doesn't die. Well, she's the only one that lives. Her and that guy that's giving the contracts. But you could really see that one coming, couldn't you? But this is so interview with a vampire, isn't it? There, we're good. Just wanted to get rid of that junk. Now, let's make sure we're right on track with this one. In the dark let's take my contract. Death, my I <coughs> Norman Reedus was in Blade 2. He was the Scud. Ah, do you remember the one with those, that guy, he was part of Bros or bros or something. That kind of late eighties kind of boy duo thingy. Remember his twin uh, died or something? Yeah, some kind of heart condition or something. Which one was that? Yeah. Yeah, d oh definitely. It would have been interesting. Yes. I have many times, Mike. Many times. 
In two, yeah. I remember it back in the day. It didn't last too long. Yeah. Oh, are they? Well, I think the brother gave it up or something. Heart, heart trouble or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Both brothers are still alive. That's cool. Yeah, I must be thinking of some other band or something where a brother died or something. But I, I'm nearly sure the twin uh, had some kind of heart issue, wasn't it? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I just remember something about that. Oh, they did. They did the craze, didn't they? Jonathan. Those two guys did the craze. That movie about the craze. Or at least one of them did. Oh. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh, was it? That was... Yeah, again, you see another band. I keep mixing them up. That was the craze, correct. Yeah, Spandau Ballet. The guys that did that gold song. You know, gold. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, there was so many musicians that time getting into movies. And singers and stuff. That was Fan de Valley. You reek of death, my friend. Uh some more work. There Your we go. timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. Your first target is an orc bard named Ah, that's that's not too bad. Oh, do you remember the vampire thing? I hate getting that vampire. Because, let's just say, it makes it very awkward when you want to buy wood there again. Well, we know about Hearn. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his I might be able to bring him back. No. He's somebody that just appeared just for this. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave him dead, I think. Yeah, the gold song, yeah. Watch yourself. Yeah. And true, yeah. Which of them... Did they do Book of Love? Was that Spandu? Ballet. The Book of Love. Remember one, that one. That's the look. The look of love. Oh, that was Brian Ferry, wasn't it? No, that was Brian Ferry, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm going back a bit now, aren't I? Good luck. Yeah, yeah, look of love. Was that Brian Ferry? I know he was part of a band of another name as well. Oh, sorry, ABC. That's the one. I keep getting them mixed up, that's right. Peter Gabriel was the sledgehammer. Yeah, I remember Peter. Yeah, ABC. Could never think of their name, Pyro. Yeah. Was once part of Genesis. Genesis, Genesis. Phil Collins. Oh. Yeah, didn't Phil have a band called Genesis? Or was it Genesis? My memory's been very bad lately. Although that was a long time ago. Love Phil. Great singer. Same band. Nice. Was it ABC? Nice. Oh, back issues. Phil must be getting on now, Jonathan. You know, I remember when I was a kid, he was, you know, yeah. What's Phil now? He must be in his 70s, is he? Yeah, awesome. Phil was awesome, always was. I remember that part he had in um, in Vice City, in that game. 73, I knew that. Yeah, he'd be in his 70s. It would have always been about you know, 15, 18 years older than me. Can't Hurry Love. Yeah, that was a cover from Diana Ross, wasn't it? Or was Diana Ross's version another cover again? They did so many covers back in the 80s. 
But when Phil was number one here in my country with Can't Hurry Love, I can remember exactly where I was. Yeah. It's one of those times, you know, where, you know, a certain event or a certain song, you know, hit number one when it was, you know, running top of the charts. I can remember exactly where I was. I knew my wife, I was going to cut off. I'll be back soon. No problem, Mike. Need to rebo about reboot the router. No problem. But in case you can't make it back, take care and stay safe, Mike. And have a good one. Yeah, Phil Collins. Uh, the two, well, we'll leave these two guys dead. And the reason being is don't really appear in the game anyway. It's not like someone I have to interact with all the time. You know, like that poor elf in a stall, we won't be killing him. Because I don't take the extra contracts from these guys because they're silly. You know, preying on the NPCs that's already in the game when you're an objective is to save as many as you possibly can. I know. I'll just relax here for a minute, guys. I'm getting a little bit of pain. Just let my chest settle down for a moment. Okay, deep breaths. Yeah, that was good. Easy lover. Yeah, I should get a hold on you. Like no other. Yeah, I remember that one. Genesis, yeah, really cool. Yeah, Peter as well. Not so much into Peter, but definitely into Phil. Yeah. You remember the other guys? Uh, do you remember they had a couple of songs? I don't know how successful they were after. Uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates. You remember that? That was very, very early 80s, guys. Maybe 82-ish. Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. What was it, Man Eater, wasn't it? Yeah, I was just a kid, I remember it well. Yeah, what was that again? Yeah. She only comes out at night. A mean and hungry time. Blah, 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 and it keeps going on, yeah. Right, some classics, all right. Now, we will take out... Uh, okay, we'll take out the... Yeah, we don't need wood anymore anyway. We'll kill her and obviously not killing his wife. They did. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, no can do. Yeah, I can't go for that. No can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. No static at all. Nice. Now, we get a hern. And he's right down here. Yeah, I feel guilty for doing this. I've done a lot of business with this vampire. <laughs> I always do my wood business here. Okay. Uh... Let's see. This guy is inside. So we want the lady... Oh, she's out. Stay out. Yeah, I feel horrible for doing this. What if we killed him and brought him back? That would be silly, wouldn't it? I think she's still... Um Yeah, the problem is, what I remember doing this, she's always hostile, even if she doesn't see you killing him. But let me let me try a little experiment here, guys. Just one little experiment here for a minute. We'll kill him, we'll bring him back, and then we'll see if she's hostile. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, that's sad. Oh, I suppose it happens. Don't you forget about me. Oh, yeah. Don't you forget about me. Wasn't that... Um, 
wasn't that that Aussie guy? Wasn't it? Uh, committed suicide. Oh no, it's Simple Minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple Minds. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of Michael Hutchins. Much later. Yeah, you can see the style in that. You know, they influence so much music. In excess. Yeah. Michael Hutchins. Yeah, that's the guy. Sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huge everywhere. Oh, the Breakfast Club with, uh, yeah, 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 that 80s thing. Uh, Patrick McCarthy, wasn't it, from Mannequin was in that? Oh, definitely, yeah. But he was involved with, uh, didn't I have a kid, uh, the Scottish presenter, what's her name? Uh, blonde, short hair, hair. Uh, they had a kid together, didn't they? Or am I thinking about some other... Star. I did, yeah, I was right then. Now, let's bring him back. But th that this, sh this should be safe. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about Geldof. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Molly Ringwald. Never really into that Breakfast Club or Molly, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, they're more... Kind of... Romantic kind of stuff, yeah. Polly Yates. That's who I was thinking of. That's right, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Bob Geldof from the Boontown Rats to the Band-Aid kind of thing, yeah. Uh, right, let's see. Actually, let's, let's prove a point. Now, we'll talk to her and let's see if... I'll, I'll keep him out of the game if she's not hostile. But she didn't see that. Uh, let's see if she's hostile. Well, she's going to be hostile when she finds the body, I can tell you. Her and I do so adore guests. Oh! These guards are such a bore. Oh, she mentioned him this time. You know what? I think I'll bring him back. I think I'll bring him back. I've never tried that one before. It won't affect the quests or bug it out or anything. But I think he'll just disappear from the game anyway, so we'll stay. I think when she finds the body, she kind of freaks out. We can't come back here again. Let's bring him back. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. You're not bring you're not he's a one-time kill. We're not bringing him back, guys. Oh yeah, brilliant. Love it. Stephen King. Uh watched the TV series, read the book. Of course I have. Uh let me see who was in that. Uh a lot of the Rat Pack 80s guys were there. Um oh, there's so many actors in that one. Uh Oh, my. Rob Lowe. I can remember Rob. He was the the mute guy, wasn't it? Yeah, Rob Lowe. Yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, Stephen King and Dean Coots and all of that stuff. Yeah, I think she was. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah. Molly, Molly, Molly. Let me see. Uh, I can remember the Italian actress one. She played a big part in it. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I think she was. Yeah, Molly Ringwald. Just was never really a big fan. Okay, now. Now we'll get this one as well. Oh, oh the guy in Mortal. Of course. I remember this guy. It's not the cook guy. It's the guy in that... Um, yeah, I know the one. It's the guy in the inn. We'll, we got to be careful here now. Uh, right. It's only an error. Well, Gary Sinise. That's right. Yeah, Gary Sinise. was a, He was the kind of leader of it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Gary Sinise. Um, yeah, here we've seen it it's more of a TV thing. Blonde. Come in two parts, two, four hours. Or maybe three. Yeah, to split it up a bit. But uh, much like um, It, you remember that? The clown. Again, another wrong one. Uh, another one of my favourites would be, let's say, you know, the Tommy Knockers, uh, Children Under the Stairs, uh, Pet Cemetery. There's a few maybe from some other writers as well. Uh, Skinwalkers, I think that was. I'm not sure if that was him or, Coot, or, or Dean Coots. Skinwalkers was pretty interesting. Have you ever seen that one? And obviously Pet Cemetery and all the old favourites, Christine, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, f w was that the movie or the old, really old TV series? Yeah, My Favourite Martian. Probably the movie. Needful Things and The Dark Half. Yeah, all pretty good. I found the Tommy Knockers to be pretty interesting and a, a really good, um, a really strange look, let's say. You know, on it. Now I just gotta get rid of these two silly um crabs here, let's see, so I get no casualties. And then we'll go kill that orc. There's one. Oh there should be two here. There you are. Now they just cause a lot of hassle later. So I think if I could just get rid of them now. We should be good. One more on the island. Yeah, the old... I remember him all right. But in that old TV series, Blonde, he was like ancient, wasn't he? That guy was probably in his, like, late 50s. At least in his 50s on the old TV series. Yeah. I've seen and read most of Stephen King's. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. I remember the old TV series, yeah. Now, where's this guy? Ah. Hey now. There we go. Now we go kill that orc. Oh. A stupid chest inside is killing me. Uh, maybe I just kind of stretch my back and kind of... Yeah, it's a bit better. Now, let's get rid of this orc. I usually kill this guy with a bow, which we don't get any kind of... Where is he? Oh, nice, he's in his room. This will be easy, 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 easy. Easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. Now, I thought these were supposed to be hard ones, aren't they not? You're okay, we won't be bringing you back, dude. Of course, we'll do a bit of teething as well. And we'll sell this junk to this lady. It should be good. 
He played with the guy who did... Oh! Ah, Bill Bixby, yeah. The Incredible Hawk. Uh, he did one part, and then it was this, the bodybuilder. Lou Fringo, wasn't it Fringo or something? Yeah, he did the Hawk, I remember that. It ended the last... Well, there was a few movies as well. It kind of had a revival. Um, and the last one was The Death of the Incredible Hawk. You remember that one? Yeah. Bill Bixby. Yeah, Frango. Yeah, he did a lot of Mr. Universe and that. I don't think he actually ever won, did he? He always kind of lost out to um, Arnold because... Yeah, you know, Arnold was pretty tall, I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Running and inward. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. <sighs> I've been so, so tired all the time. But I've always been complaining about the tiredness for maybe, what, blonde? About a year or so? Oh, now we know why. Now we know why. There we go. I think it's funny that Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah? Oh. I liked his action movies. Um, yeah, they were kind of cheesy, I suppose, but still, yeah, that kind of movie. You no, know, that's what you ex kind of expect to see. You know, tons of bodies, that kind of thing. Now let's go back to the Brotherhood. Of course, of course. Now oh, there's the two contracts there. Perfect. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I'm making some bucks. Well, they nearly all do after a while. I've seen Chuck Norris as well. What was he selling? Catheters or something? Yeah. Well, they all turned to that. Um, I was a pretty strange guy. Um, you know, these professional uh, bodybuilders and... As far as I know, you know, you don't get a bottle like that for, you know, just you know, basically training. It's it's always chemically enhanced, you know, in some form because, you know, you just can't physically do that. Um, the problem with steroids and, and stuff like that is they, you know, they can make it pretty crazy. And it's not a temporary thing. It can change uh, the pathways in your brain chemistry permanently. Um, we've seen some, you know, pretty sad stories of people, of people who have, you know, taken too much of those drugs to, you know, enhance their bodies like wrestlers and such. But um, he has, a, I know a good bit about his story and, um, well, the rumors and such. And um, if half of them are true, he's... Uh, he's not a guy that I would like, let's say, to have his hand on, um, you know, a nuclear button. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> when the film... The, in, it, oh, yeah, I remember that. Invasion USA with Chuck Norris. I watched the film, some of it. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. But the problem with... You know, some of the reports on actors and such. You can't really know what's true, you know, and what's not. But I do remember an inf interview he did, uh, this is for sure, where he said 90% uh, of the world's population need to be controlled. You know, like this kind of uh, totalitarian thing. So I kind of know where he's... It was kind of going with that, so I suppose, you know. Yeah, the old, yeah, like uh, like Commando. You remember that? You remember that part in Commando? 
uh, while he was fighting that guy and he stabbed him with a large pipe. You know, let off some steam, Bennett. <laughs> and of course, that famous one. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's just sheer action from start to finish. Um, do you remember that guy, Sully? you remember that guy he dropped uh, off the edge of that um, high spot he was in? you remember when that Porsche he was driving turned around? You could see both sides of the Porsche, and they were undamaged. Yeah, we used to pick out the little, um, the little things they did wrong. Remember, he smashed one side of the Porsche. But you could see, let's say, when he spinned around both sides of the portion, it was perfect. And, of course, when he was holding Sully, you could literally, if you look close enough, you could see the safety wire on Sully. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah, that one. Remember, Sully. I said I'd kill you last. I lied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of my favourites from that time. You know, Commando, all of those ones. Predator was awesome as well. You had Jesse Ventura, I knew, on on um on Predator. He was a uh, ex wrestler or something. Didn't he become governor? Yeah. Didn't he become governor of some US state at one stage? I think. Yeah. I lost interest in Chuck Norris when he was doing Walker. Not my thing. Yeah, uh, it's not really my thing. Um, I suppose it was okay, you know. Oh, XE, was it? That's right, sorry. I was thinking of someone else. He was an XE. And Minnesota, he was um, a governor there. Nice. Nice. Yes, he was governor of California. But wasn't there some lobbyists? How true is this blonde? But when he was governor of California, wasn't there some lobbyists trying to pass through a bill where you didn't have to be born in the US to become president? That was kind of scary, wasn't it? Yeah, they were playing around with that for a while. How true is that? Or was that just some media gossip? Yeah, I like you've got to be born in the U.S., don't you, to become president? I think they wanted to abolish that law or something. There was a kind of uh, what do they call those guys? Uh, lobbyists, yeah. You know, trying to get something done with that one. I think that would be a mistake. You know, I think to be a leader of your country, you would at least, you know, have to be born there. Now oh, let me get something to drink. Oh, Firewalker. That was a, like a kind of Tomb Raider thing. Yeah, I remember that one. No, not Tomb Raider. That was like an Indiana Jones thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember Firewalker. I must watch that again. Oh, I didn't hear that. He passed away, did he? Oh. No, I never heard that one. That's a pity. He was pretty good with Dennis Quaid as well and Enemy Mine. So many great movies. You know, he was in. Great actor. Yeah. In another country. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was most recent. Um, like, it would be impossible, um, a blonde, uh, to, you know, be elected president, that to be so. You know? That would be something that you just, you know, you couldn't hide. You know, especially in the U.S., but, you know, you've got the FBI, the CIA, all those. You know, that was that was just the usual ramblings of uh, conspiracy theorists and, you know, people that were probably wishing it to be true. Oh, just a couple of days ago. That's why I didn't hear it. I was in hospital. Oh. It is. I love Enemy Mine. Yeah, it's a great... I just watched it again about six months ago, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought so. Really, really good. And from Dennis as well. You know, I like Dennis in that remake of um, Fantastic Voyage. You remember the remake? Uh, what was it called? Um, Inner Space. 
You remember that one? Inner space. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, but, you know, that's like saying, you know, that I wasn't Irish. It's a very easy thing. And it's impossible to hide if you weren't born somewhere. You know, <laughs> you know, you just, you know, it defies logic. Yes, Martin Short, that's the one. It was the kind of remake, I suppose, of Fantastic Voyage with Racco Welsh, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Although that would be a kind of remake, but wonderful movie. Is running again. Oh yeah, uh, I think I've heard that all right. And now, yeah, there's another one as well. I'm trying to think of it. It's a very old British movie. Um, no. Oh. That um, that actor he died there a few years back. Is in it? Um, is it Rod? St no, not Rod Steiger. Rod Taylor. No, no, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I, I, I remember the name again. It's very, very. I used to. I watched it as a kid. It was pretty good. Voyage to the Moon. I think it might be, guys. If you get a chance to check it out, I think it's like um, a seventies movie or something or. Or something like that, maybe even sixties. But it's called Voyage to the Moon. But it's set during so you'll track it down, I won't give any spoilers. It's set during the kind of Victorian era. Yeah, it's 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 pretty interesting. Yeah. They did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's much like gaming. You know, where movies that time were based on a decent story and a catch. You know, with some decent acting. You know, now it's just massive explosions and, um, you know, tight outfits and superheroes. Uh, much like gaming where, you know, you had a really decent story and now it's graphics and, you know, all of that. It's, it's totally changed, yeah. But my favourite, um, my favourite two decades would be, you know, well, my favourite decade would be, let's say... 1980, let's say, if I was to pick a decade, if I was stuck with a decade for watching movies and I couldn't move from it forever, it would definitely be 1980 to 1990, yeah. Uh, but for 80% of the stuff I watch, even now, you know, I'd have to go back to that decade. And it's not doing bad. Oh. Fauna comes... Fauna comes out. Oh, the TV series. Yeah. Yeah. That's an Amazon thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And it's it's looking that way with games as well now, Jonathan. That's why I've got to move from Xbox, because the stuff they're producing now, these MMOs and these looter shooters, nah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, such great movies. You know, hundreds of movies that were awesome. Um, do you remember that one, Jonathan Turk, 1A2? That guy, he played a part in it as well. Remember he was from that TV series? Uh, I don't know, his name was Dan Tanner or something in it. He was like a detective. Oh, I forget. Timothy Hutton, that's the one. Brilliant. I thought that was brilliant and interesting. Yeah, that's one from my youth as well that I remember. Timothy Hutton, that's the guy. Yeah, Turk 182. And even as something as corny as, let's say, a romantic comedy like Mannequin, with uh, Patrick McCarthy, wasn't it? And that one from Sex and the City, Kim Cantrell. Yeah, that was funny and interesting. You know, I don't mind a romance thing being in it if it's, it's kind of unique and catchy. And I thought that was, that was pretty interesting. Hmm. Mm. A weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some wonderful ones. Do you remember that 
two-parter again. I think it's from a book again. Salem's Lot. Or I think it's Salem's Lot. With uh, David Soul. Remember that one? Wasn't that the 80s? Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of comedies. But he's a he's a pretty good um he's a pretty good serious actor, Blond. I'll give him that. He does a really good serious movie. There's not many comedy actors that can do Yeah, was absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And hello again, Mike, and welcome back. Yeah, that was David Soul, wasn't it? Didn't he do the he didn't do the starch game hutch thing, did he? Oh, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I'm not sure. Maybe he did. Hmm. Ah, oh, he did. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure there. Yeah. I never would have told the guy from Big and Better Better. Yeah, yeah. Great, serious actor. It's 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 a rare thing, Jonathan, to get someone who's literally for most of the career did comedies. But yeah, I really like him in some serious roles. Yeah. It was the guy from Star Trek and Hutch. Ah. David Soul, yeah. We're going back to the 70s there, guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's hand this in. Yeah, mine was as well, Mike. We've been getting a few storms here. I think it might be the same in 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 Britain, yeah. And we've I did have we did have an outage. I was late coming on because of an outage. So yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, yeah, same here. We uh, like my power was gone this morning for about five hours. They were replacing some transformers. I think there was a massive outage in some power station. And blew a few transformers or something. Oh, the Green Mile was wonderful. It was. That was pretty decent. And, of course, like, the Shawshank Redemption with Morgan. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, one of my favorite actors. Yeah, I love that guy. And Tim Tim Robbins, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a decent movie. Nice, your internet speed is doubled and I'm getting... Almost 24 upload. Nice. Yeah. Great movie. There's another actor um, as well. Let's say he used to play Tom Selleck. You remember that guy? He used to play Magnum P.I. You know, that kind of uh, detective thing. Um, he did a, a movie, and I thought it was worth watching. Very interesting one. Kind of prison thing as well. It was called An Innocent Man. Yeah. You ever get a chance to watch that? That was pretty interesting. Now, oh, i seen it about 20 years ago, probably. It seemed... I can remember it as being pretty decent. But it's called An Innocent Man. Yeah, that was pretty good. He did that sci-fi movie as well. You remember that? It was a little bit like, um, like, like the kind of Blade Runner, kind of futuristic thing. Can anybody tell me what that movie was with Tom Selleck? Runaway was it? Was it Runaway? Could have been Runaway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Three guys and a lady. They made a few, didn't they? Have those two at least. Yeah. Oh, you have seen it? Yeah. Yeah, Innocent Man, yeah, that's, uh, I told that. Magnum P.I., yeah. We need to talk. Of course, Astrid, what Look, is it? Something is happening here. I'm An Escape sure from Our... Ah, oh, that was... No, I love I love that movie with Clint. Yeah, yeah, he's a classic, it. isn't he? The yeah. Did give you an order to talk to a contact... The the Iger Sanction, he, he did so many. I, I liked him as well, uh, well obviously, in Where He Goes There. Now, if I was going to a war movie, that has got to be my favourite. Um, very, very intelligent, you know. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, Where He Goes There would... Uh, 
Oh, Elizabeth Taylor's husband for about five times. Uh, okay, help me out, guys. What was his name again? Um, Richard Burton. Richard Burton, yeah. Runaway was the right name, was it? Yeah. Never seen that one. Yeah. yeah. I've seen so many movies. Sometimes I, I kind of get it mixed up a little bit. It kind of comes across like a kind of um, Blade Runner, you know, those little robots that come in and kind of scan you. Yeah. Uh, it rings a bell. It rings a bell. Yeah, it rings a bell. Oh, where's those contracts? Oh, yeah. And the silence is broken. Oh, right. Basically, we go there. Now, let's get rid of these contracts first. We don't want those stuck in our menu, do we? Uh, 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 and we'll see Babette as well. Get rid of some junk I think we might have. Babette, Babette, Babette. There you are. Okay. Yeah, usual stuff. Uh, okay, I think we sold them. Oh, we did. No, we did. We sold them in uh, the inn that time. That's cool. Right. Babette. Let's get rid of these two contracts. I think this is the last of the contracts we need to do. Ish, maybe. He had a parrot. Hmm. No, it's not ringing a bell. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. <laughs> else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless of Robert course, Blake was his name. No, it doesn't ring a bell. I've probably seen the movie, but we just need a little bit of a memory jog before my internet gives up again. I'll say goodnight. No problem, Mike. And it's been good to be back and talk with you all fine folks. And nice to have you back again, um, Mike. I hope you have a good rest. No, I definitely wouldn't remember it then. Mostly movies. But yeah, a lot of TV series. Sometimes. But I hope you have a good rest. And I hope you have a great day, Mike. Take care. And stay safe. Bye. Yeah, there was some pretty interesting um, TV series. All right. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, hi, um, just vibing. And, and how are you? Well, Been well, I hope. Your payment, as per the and have you recently changed your tag? I believe it was the 70s. I don't know a lot of 70s series. But I would have been watching them here in my country. And, you know, there would have been a lot, let's say, going on in the US. Let's say they wouldn't have been shown here at that time. Mostly BBC stuff, you know. And take care, Mike. Bye. Change it recently. What was your previous tag? Um, just vibing. Ah, shoegaze fan. How have you been? <laughs> Happy hunting. Yeah, I didn't recognize the tag, but you didn't come up as first time chatter. So, you know, sometimes my memory is absolutely brilliant. Sometimes I can't remember what I did a half an hour ago. It's very all over the place. Benny Hill was awesome. Yeah, Benny was a strange guy, but awesome. There was Benny Hill, Kenny Everett. Uh, I could go on forever. You know, such great, great comedians. Pretty good, pretty good. I was all for about a week. I just came out of the hospital. I spent a week... Um, with my blood pressure and heart problems and things like that, but I'm still a bit sore and I've got a ton of medication, but it wasn't as bad as I previously thought, so a great weight has been lifted. I'm still far from 100%, but let's say I'm closer to 100% than I thought I was. So yeah, pretty chuffed about that. So 
yeah, back to my old schedule as much as I can. And we'll see how it goes. But I hope you've been doing fine, Shoegaze. Do you remember Kenny? Yeah, he was he was a screen. Yeah. Yeah, as a kid. Yeah, he really pushed comedy, didn't he? He was ahead of his time, I think, in that one. Oh, yes, Minister, yeah. Are you been served? Uh, there's tons of them. Oh, yeah, de definitely. Definitely. But I remember, yes, Minister. Like, anything that was shown in, in Britain, uh, yeah, would come here pretty quickly. That's it, guys. We got them. So, the silence has been broken. So we're going to go and we're going to do something about that one. Uh, but we've pretty much got this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's a pity that I will eventually have to die, but... Well, the Dark Brother is a dangerous business. Oh yeah, when did we get that horse anyway from these guys? Uh, but that idiot ruins everything. Too ambitious. Oh yeah, no, I I am of the same opinion, uh, Jonathan. But I have a kind of theory on that. It's the same with, you know, TV series, movies, games, you name it. Um, you know, for something to be a hit, it had to be pretty interesting and had to have a catch and, you know, to a certain extent, uh, be humorous and make sense. Um, and that's what it was all about then. Now, when you're going to movies, as I said, it's about big explosions, tight outfits and superheroes. You know, no real story. Uh, games now, again, it's uh, MMOs. Uh, it's again, you know, graphics, um, flashy moves, no story, microtransactions, and, and the kind of thing, oh, well, you're playing with your friends, be happy kind of thing. You know, it's all changed, you know. But personally, I like kind of humorous, well-thought-out quests in games. You know, they're obviously not boring and, you know, a little bit of comedy or something. Something interesting to find. Tiny things, I think. It's the, the little things that make, you know, a quest and a game as well. Everything is so expensive now that no one wants... It would do well, of course it would, you know, writing a decent story. I think they're afraid to offend Jonathan and lose a tiny percentage of the market. But trying to keep people that would be offended by a video game, but trying to keep these guys happy is impossible, Jonathan. Um, because there's nothing that you could do would make these guys happy. I could never understand why why they pander to these people because you know most of the people that would complain about these games would never really play them you know and most of these people well s some of them are totally legitimate this is the way they see it and this is their right of course and their opinion but a lot of people are doing it for views or attention you know and it's a pity because it's hurting everything it's falling back now on this kind of restrictions even here, and let's say we had a double referendum that we absolutely, you know, trashed it. We voted like 75% no. The government here was getting totally out of hand. And y you can see all of this coming, you know, where they'll pick a little bit away and make something normal, you know, where everything is offensive. And I, I think a lot of the companies are afraid of getting cancelled. You know, if to do anything that's even remotely interesting. It doesn't have to be racist or anything like that. You know, let's say you look at Skyrim, for instance, and, you know, uh, your frick is pretty racist towards the elves, the Argonians, and you could say the Khajiit as well, they're never let into towns. But these are fictional races, you know what I mean? You know... So, you know, it's it's nothing got to do with reality. And, and racism in itself is bad. 
Um, but like, it's just a game, you know. And to deny, like, to try and wash that from everything is like you're trying to deny something, like cover up something that's real and stare and probably will always be there. Um, so I think they're not doing themselves any justice or helping themselves out by trying to sanitize, you know, everything. I don't think it's going to help. In fact, I think it will make it a little bit worse in the long run. Actually, I believe it's after you come down from seeing Devlin. Uh, after Cicero. Yeah, that's, that one is, is interesting. Yeah. Oh, we've got to go to the Thieves Guild. Yeah, when you get Shadowmere. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay. I know who this guy is anyway. Let's go see him. He's in Volan... Is this the one with uh, the bones? It is, isn't it? Oh, you remember... I raided this earlier, before we got the bug. I remember I was saying, and this is where we meet the guy from the Brotherhood, it is here. You know, for the contract. That little side thing. That little side. There's a couple of bones in here. I wonder if we can kind of go in and maybe sneak some of them. I don't want to mess it up too much, so we might just take the chance, you know. There's a lot of places now that I did and are not done anymore because of that that load back. So we want to be careful, you know, if we see any undiscovered places to discover them so we can see them on our map. Oh, is this the one with the guy inside the two doors with the note? Uh, the thing, what do you call it, with the skulls? If it is, we better pick it up here. It is. There it is. Silent tongues. We'll take it while we're here. Yeah, we'll take it while we're here. Right. Now, I think he's down here, one of these chambers, isn't he? He's down there. Okay, we'll do silent tongues here and get it done. Because once I come into something like this, I'm going to do the werewolf thing here in a minute as well. I might get a bit of feeding from these guys. Not sure if we can, but I've got to eat anything park, so we'll see. Ah, there he is. By the almighty divines, you come. You've actually come. We can get this out here as well. It worked. The night mother heard you, please. <laughs> he's not <laughs> he's not impressed with that several actually okay i dare say the work i'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in well centuries go on as i said i want you to kill several people oh the wedding yeah 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 that will bring the king in and then we get him isn't it i'm sure someone we're going to try and get some sleep Crocker, oh, good night and good night, everyone. And thanks for hanging out, um, Harry. I appreciate it. Um, and nice to hear that your dad is improving. Be sure to send him my regards. And I hope you manage to get a decent sleep. And have a great day, Harry. Take care and stay safe. Bye. Well, thank you, Harry. I appreciate it. Yeah, to kill the Emperor. Uh, leaders rise and fall. Business is business. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. <laughs> I never killed this guy after. You know what uh, the Emperor says to kill him? There's no point. He actually stays in the inn and stays there. It's not going to really, you know. Rexus, the items. Ah, uh, the item. This is the, the amulet we get, remember? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something else you need? Human flesh. I think we got that already. Yes. Items, ingredients. Yeah, we got that already. 
Um, okay, obviously we're gonna take everything in here. Ooh, did we more rocks? And we take this one here. We wanna be careful, might not do the vampire thing here, these guys get a bit nasty. Now we'll have to get rid of silenced tongues here. Because we've already... This is the way I usually play this game. If I go into these, I've got to finish what's here. In case they bug up, because once you break into a cell like this... You know, now this is where we'll be going here to these guys, and we need those two things to um, obviously get through. Let's see. Eh, we're not too bad for weight. Okay, let's do the silence tongue. Haha, <laughs> there. Now we're off. Okay, we do a little separate save in here, and this has been going pretty decently so far. And we'll take out this little quest. It's it's pretty easy, you know, just collecting those two weapons, and we'll get some knickknacks and stuff like that. So it won't be too bad. How do we? Oh yeah, we can get up the other side to those guys. You know what? Yeah, uh, let's use this bone. We'll have some fun. I've never had a dog. I've done it before. Maybe I've been lucky. A small, small chance blonde. Uh, like, take for instance, as long as I've been playing this game, Cicero has never bugged on me. But he had, well, sorry, twice. Um, but then again, I've been t kind of taking precautions. Once you go in here and there's a quest, let's say, you know, you do something else, and you kind of ignore it, and then come back. Strange things can happen once you open the cell. Rare, but possible, you know. So, the way I used to do this, especially in the beginning with this, because, oh my god, bugs in this game. I know they've cleaned up a lot, and so is the batch, but still. Um, once I commit to a quest line, I forward straight through. Um, but once... I would have to wait until I'm forced to go into something like this. And then if there's any quests here, clean it as I move along. You know, getting those done. I found that always to be the safest way. What the? That is really stupid, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just do it a hard way then. Okay. What do the old Skyrim way? Why aren't any up here, is it? Ah, yeah, okay, that's too bad. We can get them from here. There's like seven or eight of these guys, isn't there? I don't know where the other guys are. They've got to be here somewhere. I've been lucky with my saves, I don't override a save. I try not to either. No quick save, a total no no. Store guns and a workbench and the bill limit. Nice. Oh, hi Dungeon Master, and thanks for that raid. I appreciate it, and welcome raiders. And how have you been, Dungeon Master? Well, I hope. The overrides are not as bad as you might think, um, depending. If you're overbuilding, it's a big problem. Um, the quick saving, that has always been a problem. Uh, again, um, in my experience, you know, it's rare uh, to get a corruption, but you can. You know, especially if you're playing a game for two, three hundred hours or more. But you're, yeah, you're better off no quick saving and do clean saves. You know, what I tend to do is I might. Um, 
you know, over save, let's say on one for maybe three or four times. But what I tend to do then is, let's say I'd be getting rid of the saves from beforehand and then doing new saves on top. So they'd all get recycled within, you know, maybe 20 saves each one. So it's never been much of a problem. But I adopted that kind of thing a long time ago. But to be honest, I've rarely got a uh, safe corruption. I've got many on Fallout 4, but that would have been, as I said, a massive overbuilding. I've also, the only save I have, Blonde, I've turned off all the save and fast travel and sleep and that. The only thing I've got is the main save that's working. Mm. All right, been a little sick. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Dungeon Master. And I hope you're recovering, and I hope you're feeling better. But yeah, uh, my son has got some kind of bug as well. He was suffering these past few days. But I think it's pretty much going here, you know. Oh, hi, Death. And how have you been? I hope you've been well. And what have you been up to, that? Yeah, yeah, that's when you'd want to be pretty careful with save corruption. Yeah. Especially quick save. Compressing that really quickly, you know, a large save. Now, I've just got to stop for a little while, guys. I have a pretty weird pain in my side, going up my side. i just got to let it pass for a moment. And then we can carry on. Other than that, I had a great idea to try to steam... I remember that, Command and Conquer. Yeah. Yeah, the strategy game. Yeah, it's pretty old school. I think there was a few doing it all right. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I've got a ton of medication now, but I suppose I'll have to live with that. Um, can't say I'm happy with that, but the alternative. It's better than the alternative. But, um, yeah, I'll have to be taking it for easy for a while. Very easy. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do what we can. Um, still in a considerable amount of pain in the chest area inside. But, um, yeah, they've given me some medication for that. Well, the good news at least is, you know, I do have a slow heartbeat, but as far as I know, I've always had that. Um, there doesn't seem to be any major damage, but... I've been ju I, it's been producing a certain enzyme. Um, it's kind of sign of you know a heart being under stress. Uh, the usual reading for people is 14 minus 50, and I think over 100 is a heart attack. So yeah, I've got to um, probably make some changes. You know. I'm on my phone, so I'm... Oh, no problem, Das. I'm the same. Now, this pain has seemed to have eased down a little bit. But it'll take a while for medication to probably work properly. And, um... You see, while they were trying me with this medication to see what worked, they cut all of my... You know, the med I was, meds I've been using for my, my... My ulcer, my stomach ulcer. And um, they, they gave me a substitute one, which was absolutely useless. Of course, I told them this, but they have to cut all meds and, you know, so they can try it under probably a controlled um, kind of environment. But um, I seen my GP today, and I went in and I explained. I said, these are the meds. I said, I want to cut and go back on my original ones, and he totally agreed. You know, they're just um, a kind of anti thing. But once I get this ulcer back under control, I think that's most of my pain. Um, it would take three to four days, you know, for those to kick in again because they had me off them for so long. And then I should be good. Yeah, well, a lot better than I am now. Yeah. I got a team song now. One of my followers made a rock song. Nice. posted in general. Nice. Okay, let's get this stuff 
Um, what are we doing? We're killing these guys, aren't we? Where are they, anyway? I thought they were going to follow me down, but they didn't. Okay. Ooh, ain't no helmet. Of course we'll take you. Well, there's one of them anyway. That was pretty easy. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. There's still some other guy running around there, isn't there? Okay, that's one of them anyway. Um. Yeah, where is this guy? Oh, there you are. Yeah, we're killing all these guys before we move. Oh, sugar. There, I think we've got everyone now. Nope. Never gonna get everyone here, are you? Um, right, we'll take another run and we'll see where these guys are. I can hear them walking. Oh, hang on, they're probably this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, he died pretty strangely. Oh my. Oh my. Right, now we're good. Right, we can carry on. And the high uh, execution is at 23. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. And welcome to the community. And how have you been, execution? Hi. Hope you've been well. I will check it out on my... Nice, no, 5G. The song sounds so much like me. And professional. Nice. That's good. That's good. Yeah, they've been doing a bit of internet maintenance here as well. And apparently, Mike was saying as well, but I think there's been some storms down the country. Uh, my electric went for about five hours earlier today. Uh, that was nasty. But that was a transformer box that just literally exploded. Um, and then there was an outage as well. So I was an hour late coming on. Lucky that it came back. Yeah, I, I think it's got to do with the weather, to be honest, here. Yeah. Now, let's get this other one. Well, what I'll do, guys, is I'll do four hours from now on, and I'll I'll stick to my usual schedule, so as not to overdo it. Um, you know, the last thing I need is going back to hospital again for another week. So I still got an hour left, so we've still got an hour left to hang out. But for the foreseeable future, or for the near future at least. We'll stick to our original sc uh, schedule, you know, four hours, three days a week. That I should be able to handle. And again, if I'm feeling good, I'll, I'll come in for a few hours and do unscheduled streams. I think that would be prudent. Um, yeah. Yeah, because if I push myself, I'll be out, f you know, I might get a few more days, but then I might you know, wind up in the hospital again for God knows how long. Once those guys get you in there, blonde, they don't want to release you, you know. <laughs> uh right. Um okay we gotta backtrack, is it? Yeah, okay, we'll backtrack. I think it's back this way. Okay, we have cleared this one. Yeah, it's way back to the other side, guys. 
I will get the other one, then we get out of here. I just wanted to get rid of this silenced tongue thing. Um, and then I think we're going in there and taking the junk. And uh, this one. What do we like? Uh, we, st we still got a bit of room. In this country, they can't wait for you to go. Oh no, here they'll keep you forever. I mean forever. If there's a tiny risk of anything, they'll do every imaginable test they can do. And then if they're still not happy, you know, you'll have to wait for ages. Or they'll bring you back for some specialist that kind of comes around from country to country, you know, doing, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm, uh, you know, even though it, it, it's boring in there and it's, oh, it's a nightmare, you know. But um, they'll make sure, you know, they'll do the best they can and and that's good. But, you know, the food was, was, was really good in there. And, um, you know, I think they try and feed everyone too much, you know. That's not too healthy, but still, they'll make sure you won't starve. But with quite nice to see is, you know, anyone waiting in the waiting rooms on, let's say anyone they wanted to see or whatever, you know, you get this lady, she'd come along with a trolley, uh, you know, giving out free bottled water, free soda, free sandwiches, tea, coffee, you know, very, very nice atmosphere. You, know. you really? <laughs> I thought I'd never get out. Yeah. But very, very nice, you know, the staff. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, all bottled water, stuff like that. Fruit, bananas, everything like that. You know, not just to uh, the patients. You know, anyone in the waiting rooms and the halls and that, they would do that as well. But it's nice to see my my tax money is going for something like that. I'm I'm, I'm pretty good with that, you know. It's nice to see something back for your money. There's n they're not giving nothing here for free. Ah, they're spoiled there. Yeah, they're spoiled. And they should remember why they're there. You know, to serve the public, to keep them healthy. Not to enrich their bank accounts. Well, we don't mind them enriching their bank accounts, but, you know, to extort people from money to stay alive is, um, it's really low. Not even are you kidding me. Not even a glass of water. Oh, hi, Siren. And how have you been? Well, I hope. But I've been in there for a week, blonde. Um, and I've had so m I've lost count of how many... How many tests I've had? I've got a bundle of medication here that would sink a rhinoceros. None of them, let's say, kind of drugging stuff, but you know the other stuff. And um, yeah, it it won't cost me a dime. You know, I've already paid my dues. You know, so yeah, that's that's less stress as well. You know. A lot of people, if they're sick and if they've, you know, if it's going to be too expensive, they'll either delay it or not get it at all. And, you know, that can really shorten your lifespan. But here, let's say, and of course I had a about a 25-mile ride in an ambulance as well. That was free as well. But those guys were really nice and you know, really professional. Mm. I point you to the water fountain, oh my God. Oh, that's good to hear, Siren. Not too bad. Um, this is my first dream back after uh, being hospitalised <laughs> for a while. Uh, it was kind of scary. I was almost certain I was having a heart attack, and I wasn't too far off. It wasn't a heart attack, but it was, you know, 50, 60% of the way there. So, yeah, I've got to, um, I've got to behave now. Apparently. <laughs> Only oh, they've got vending machines as well that you can pay for as well. You know. Yeah, they've got those. 
and they've got a little cafeteria as well. But the hospital kitchens will, you know, let's say always, um, you know, go around to anyone waiting, you know, to see relatives or whatever. And as I said, you know, there was free bottled water, sandwiches, fruit bananas, apples, um, all of that stuff, which you know was was pretty nice, you know. But it was nice to see, you know, where my money was going. Now, and the staff are very nice as well. Of course you'll meet the odd person having a bad day, but in general, you know, they were really wonderful. Oh, Kidoki. We're killing you all. Yeah, we'll probably do it quicker this way. No big massive battles. Uh, I get pushed around like a rag doll with that shout. If you can't afford a machine, you're out of luck. And if you're hungry, oh my. Oh, that's horrible. Blonde. Ah. Oh. Oh, well, thank you, Siren. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen it coming for a long time. I haven't been well. Um, and, you know, when you get to my age, you know your own body. You know, there's no way you can feel like that every day and for something not to be wrong. But if you remember Blonde, even as back as my last Skyrim playthrough, about almost a year and a half ago, I was complaining a lot of been tired. You know, all the time. You know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially. Yeah. No, I found them to be, you know, pretty, pretty good. Like, even the security guards, you know, you can kind of sneak out, you know, and have a kind of sly cigarette, you know, on the grounds, even though, you know, that's not allowed. They'll turn a blind eye. They know the situation, you know. And that, so uh, yeah, pretty nice. Of course, there was a few security guards there that were having a bad day. Really shouldn't have that job, really. Much you take the good with the bad, you know. But there's always room for improvement in everything, guys. And you should always be trying to improve. There we go. All right. Na, 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 na. Ah, oh, of course we're taking that because we're miners. <laughs> Is a cigarette, please? Oh my! Oh, there's signs everywhere saying that they'll, <laughs> you know, you know, they'll come down on you pretty hard if you smoke a cigarette on the grounds on the campus. But yeah, they're they're realistic, you know. Like you're in there and you've got a lot of problems, you know, and you know you need to come out. You know, I didn't obviously have. I've cut down my smoking by about half, blonde. Oh, it'll take a bit to get used to it. I'll do that till about Christmas, and then once I get it down, I'll start taking it down more. And when I'm able to exist on about maybe two cigarettes a day, you know, then I'll cut them out. It'll be much easier for me to give them up. But after smoking for four decades, you know, to go cold turkey on them, I am sure would really um, finish me, to be honest, you know. And, and it is a form of dealing with stress as well, I suppose. Maybe I should start yoga or something. Or maybe blonde get back into my own modeling career. <laughs> 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 to deal with stress. But then I'd have to deal with the paparazzi again, and that wouldn't be good. That would drive my stress levels, you know, through the roof. <laughs> of course I'm joking. 
random people come up to you and say you're not supposed to smoke and they'll tell rats oh what nasty people like you're smoking outside you know ah yeah some people like to think they've got some kind of authority don't they now there is times let's say when you would report something obviously but someone that's dealing with a lot of stress and maybe smoking is the least of their problems and just need that second to, you know, gather their senses. I think that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a little bit totalitarian, to be honest. Oh, you'll probably get them here as well, but to be honest, they're very, very rare. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, because usually people who do that blonde really should pay more attention on events in their own lives, you know. But yeah, people like to think they've got some kind of authority, I suppose. And uh, some people are just nasty and mean. No, I wouldn't do that. Now, let's say... If there was a ton of signs up, and there was a guy, let's say, you know, smoking endlessly, and a ton of kids breathing it in, now that's a different story. But some guy that's been having a really hard time in the hospital, and he's, like, going out of his way, you know, he's way past the buildings, and he's almost hiding behind trees, you know, smoking cigarettes, or cigarettes, or whatever the case may be. No, that should not be an issue. Of course, don't get me wrong, smoking is bad, but... And that's not the way to approach it, I think. How did he even know I was there? Understand, but that's not clear. It should be. Oh, the other, the other guy one. Yeah, there. There any ceremonial? We'll get the original ones. We kill the main guy inside. Right, we're getting there. That's the last of this. It's just that's more room. Uh, mm, we're a little bit heavy. We should be able to make it. Some junk anyway. I can get rid of later. We've got rid of everyone here. Right, let's go get our prize. Our prize, our prize, our prize. There. Here we go. We're going for a really, really quick kill on that. I didn't see that there before. Going for a quick kill on this. Oh, hi, um... Sorry. Hi, um, little badger, and thanks for the raid. Appreciate it, and sorry I missed that. And welcome, raiders. And how have you been, badger? How's life been treating you? And thanks for following Harvey Hill. Appreciate it. And welcome to the community. Hope you're doing fine. Hi, um, necking the clouds. I, n I caught my neighbour that I... D yeah, I remember that. That mean lady on camera on the air yelling for me to die already. Ooh, I think she might need some mental care, maybe. <laughs> That's pretty toxic. Hi, Collector. And how have you been? Well, I hope. And what have you been up to? There we go. Now... I'll just catch up with chat, guys. There we go. Hello, welcome. Hello, it's been fun. I'm playing. Oh, nice. To be honest, Badger, I'm a little jealous. Yeah. It's my favorite game. Awesome game. But I hope you've been enjoying your, your first run in Skyrim. I would say on your first run, it's pretty important, let's say, 
to talk to everything, talk to everyone. You know, be really nosy, you know, read all the books and that, you know, take your time on your playthrough. And thanks for that channel, Blonde. Appreciate it. And thanks for following. Um, you don't mind if I call you Badger or you would you like, uh, let's say, Little Badger or your full title? I have a habit of, you know, kind of, uh, you know, cutting down tags, you know, to to one thing. Irish, nice. My sister just decided in the Irish... Just dance, sorry. In the Irish dance. Oh, cool, in Belgium. That's nice. They come first in the forehand group. Oh, that's nice. Be sure to... to give her my regards and to relay my congratulations to her. Good. That's good to hear, connector. And let's see if I'm catching up. Yeah, it's an awesome game. Now... This is the kind of game where you play it the second time. You'd appreciate it more, in my opinion. Not like what they said about Starfield. You've got to play it for 60 hours to like it. That's just BS. That game was horrible. You know. But I will say for this game it applies. Yeah. I don't know how they managed to make this game. You know. You know, seeing from the stuff they're churning out now. Oblivion. If you... You know, it's pretty old school. But if you've never played Oblivion, you know... Uh, for the story alone, it's an awesome story. The Brotherhood in that is uh, its a pretty good quest line. With a different character. Nice. Yeah, to do a little bit of role playing. Yeah. I've almost always gone with Nord. But there's some really good builds in the Orc, Khajiit, you know, Elf, all of those. It's low compared to what? Yeah, but they the said about Starfield that, you know, you don't like it, but you'll only like it after 60 hours. That's BS. You'll know within a couple of hours if you like a game, you know, where it's going, you know. Um, but let's say well, I've got a lot of time on Skyrim. I would be embarrassed to say how much, but probably over 20,000, yeah. Somewhere between twenty and forty thousand. I've I've never really, um, you know, timed it. Yeah, haven't been wasted yet. <laughs> oh, great story in that. Great story. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, I came from Oblivion, obviously, to Skyrim. I was a big fan of Oblivion. Um, maybe not people's cup of tea. And I'd say, you know, with the younger gamers today. But, um, amazing. Um, you know, the graphics wouldn't be as good as this. And the graphics in this, you know, wouldn't be as good as, you know, the games are churning out now. Their engine is showing its cracks, you know. It's a great engine, but, you know, you know, the technology of gaming now is moving on. But they are doing another one, and I'm not excited for it, to be honest. I was until I seen Starfield, and that's really put me off. I've made excuses for them, obviously, a lot, you know. All oh, the other games were MMOs, the other games were done by other companies. But this is the A-team that worked on, that was the A-team that worked on Starfield. And they're the guys that's going to be working on the new Elder Scrolls. So, I would be absolutely amazed if it's even on par with this game. And this game is, what? over 12 now, isn't it? Yeah. Not excited for it. No. Yeah, my two as well, Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Oh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, let's say I found that the most immersive of all of the Fallout games. You know, very, very immersive. Fallout 4, not so much in story and immersion. But for me, you see, Fallout 4 had the building. So... That was the catch for me. But Fallout New Vegas was absolutely awesome. Definitely, yeah. Hi, Gromulus. Been well, I hope. Fallout is pretty good, yeah. I would try New Vegas if you've never played it before. Again, a bit old, but, you know, don't let that put you off. 
Well, usually the the old games can be quite good. All right. Now we're playing this on um, on legendary difficulty. And we have a ton of restrictions on this one. It's a kind of a role play thing, uh, Badger. We're playing as a kind of Imperial Patriot, so we can only use Imperial weapons and armor. And right from the start, we couldn't use any ingredients, any ore, uh, ingots, leather, stuff like that, let's say, to improve our character. Just for decoration only. Uh, gems, soul gems was the hardest thing to do to level my character, but we did manage to farm some dungeons and, you know, that met up for it, you know. I thought I had a command in your channel. No, it's kind of uh, it's kind of a temp reading that comes in, let's say, where you can do shoutouts. I'm not sure what Twitch has been doing with that, but that would have been all Twitch. Yeah. No, I think you had the command Wisebot was down. Yeah. I think Wisebot was down that time. Yeah. Wisebot. Yeah, but Wisebot, uh, you know, it's pretty much back up now. Yeah. More likely to see how it goes than I am. I don't know, Blonde. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. With the shock I've had for the last week, you know, you know, I, I think we'd be about even on that one. Mm. Yeah, uh, definitely my favourite as well. I have beginner's guide that will teach you how to mod. Yeah, well, I normally wouldn't mod a game until I, you know, played the backside from it, you know, and then I would consider modding it. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Ten years might be a lot for me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to kill him. You don't really... I don't think you really have a chance in that. You do... You, a choice. I think you have a choice about the revenge thing afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, you're talking seven, six to eight years, I'd say. You know, for that, I would say. Oh, hi, Henry. It is Henry, isn't it? It is. And how have you been? And thanks for following, Henry. Appreciate it. And welcome to the community. I'm over 60 now. So we'll see. You're still just a kid, blonde. You're still just a kid. You've got tons of time left. You know what to say, blonde. 60 is the new 50. <laughs> they're saying 2028 for the next release. I think they're being optimistic in that, Gromulus. If I was to guess, I would say another two, if not three more years, two, I'd say 2030. But who knows if they'll be around to see that one. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> and thanks for following uh, Neck in the Clouds. I appreciate it. And welcome to the community. And I hope you've been well. Yeah, I was. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, yeah, but don't mind what Todd's, you know, I wouldn't believe a word. You know, I wouldn't, if Todd told me the time, I wouldn't believe him. You know, how many times were I supposed to release that massive flop Starfield? You know, and you can't blame them because they don't really have much control. They'll guesstimate, um, you know, when they can release it, but, you know, it might come out sooner and it might come out later. I don't think they ever get it exactly right. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Oh, no, I wouldn't believe. If he told me the time, I wouldn't believe him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's been some really nasty practices. Like, 
like when we switched from 360 to a new console uh, the Xbox One you know we had all our little Skyrim and all of that stuff and then you know they just wouldn't make it backward compatible uh, just as an excuse to sell it to us again I don't know how many times I've, bu I've bought this game it's just ridiculous you know but I think Todd's will his goodwill let's say that is made from the Elder Scrolls it's almost done so we'll see what he'll do with the next Elder Scrolls and I hope he does not do what I think he's going to do really mess it up because uh, he probably won't care by then he'll be you know, retiring and getting out of there and um you know, maybe he should too. But we'll see. We need him to get back to writing some decent stories. You know, stop the pronouns and the silliness and the politics and just get back to games the way they used to be. And you know, we never had a problem with them before. Doing great. Nice. I'm actually. First run of Skyrim. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice, nice. Now I'm just getting up a chat, guys. I've been very lucky. I get only bought. Got it free SSE download, but the free anniversary upgrade. Nice, nice. On console, it's much different. Not only we do we have to pay for everything, but we usually have to pay three, four times more than anyone else. It's a bit of a piggy bank, you know. And uh, there's not much, um, not much variety on console compared to PC. And there would be the two top reasons, uh, and I'd say why I will have to uh, switch to PC. Mm. Yeah. play the game, yeah? I'm working on a run in Fallout 4 right now. Nice! Um, Alright, we'll get that thing in a moment. Do I get this guy out of the way? Where is he anyway? There he is. Yeah, we'll get you on the way out. Um, this this tomb is a lot deeper than I thought it was, actually. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Here it is. Okay. So what do we do? Do we kill someone? Oh yeah, there he is. Go to bed. That's it. Let's see what he had. Ooh. Yeah, they're the two weapons I wanted. Um I'm going to have to get rid of some of this junk, guys. Uh well obviously that junk. There. Now let's see what we've got here. Ooh. So let's have a quick look here, and I'll take some of this junk on the way. Well, that's absolute rubbish anyway. Nobody wants that junk. There's only like 10 or 12 gold for each piece. Iron Warhammer. Where did that come out of? Uh, okay. Let's keep going here. That's a word of power. And what have we got here? We have... 
seek a roar of whisper. I have a little thing I do once I get these. I make sure that I go in, you know. There. Yeah. The chances of them bugging are slim, but so it's best to keep an eye on it. Fallout Tree. Fallout Tree was a great game. Yeah. 4,000 done for Skyrim. Plus, I spent six months. The guides for each of them, testing them. I once did a playthrough over... One playthrough on Fallout 4 was... You remember that one, Blonde? Uh, we got a save corruption. It was 2017 hours long. A building one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I followed London. That would be cool. No. Aurora Whisper, wasn't it? Seek. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh. Oh, just take this guy out. He's just too silly. So he's gonna go. Now. That's actually when we came in, so we'll take this junk. Oh! You see that dagger? I want that. We'll get a few later, but it's kind of unique. If you have any mage followers, it looks pretty cool. Guys, are we overloaded again? We are, but not by much. There. There we go. I seem to be pretty good to go. How are we getting out of here? Oh, you're kidding me. We've got to go back to all the entire way. Is he going this way? Oh. Yeah, I think we're good now. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's it. We're done. We got our weapons. Oh, let's see if we um we get the right ones. There it is. That's the unique weapon. And that one there. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. I could drop them mistakenly, thinking they were rubbish. You know, they look a lot like the ancient Nord stuff. Oh, the TV series. It might be good. Yeah, I hope it is. I hope they don't do the land what they did to Witcher. I know it's not the same guys, but still. You don't have to butcher the story so much. Hmm. Hmm. Me, myself. Um, it never gets boring. No, you will burn out, Siren, if you play too much, you know, uh, at one time, say. Um,. But it's the exploration for me, to be honest. You know, all these little dungeons, the handcrafted stuff. There's so much that it's like watching a, one of your favorite movies. You go back in about a year, there's little bits and pieces you've forgotten. And they kind of remind you. That would be my best explanation. It's like visit, visiting one of your own favorite movies, you know. For me, it's always been the exploration. There's so much to do, you know. And I like where you can kind of go at your own pace, obviously. Doing the little things you want to do. A lot of freedom. Yeah, the open world, yeah. Should I do a single hand weapon? I would go single hand, Henry, because you'll need that hand to open for spells like healing. Yeah, I've always gone single hand. Of course, you might carry a shield for a while if you're trying to work on that stat, but yeah, 
Uh, that's my favorite way. Single, uh, single hand weapon, no shield. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's probably even stuff that I haven't found. Oh, the the archery is is pretty fun in this game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the thing in this is, you know, when you do find something that you shouldn't have found because you're just extremely nosy, you get the feeling like you're the first person who ever found it kind of thing, you know, because there's no way you should have been there or maybe, you know, looked behind that rock or, you know, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Except bosses. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't too bad. I remember in Oblivion you could use the shield and the spell. So then I would definitely go with shield. But you're going to die a lot. If you're going to die much more, let's say, than with a shield, because it's just too cumbersome to change for spells. And you don't want to be popping up. I never used potions for health. The only time I ever use potions um, is when I'm enchanting and doing stuff like that. Okay. Now, well, we've done the silent tongues, haven't we? Nice. And now we're doing this. So what we need to do is get rid of the junk we have and drop off the stuff we want to keep. And then we can get right back to the Brotherhood. And on this, we've kind of, um, you know, got rid of that other quest as well. And we have a couple of nice weapons, obviously, we want to keep. So, let's get back and get rid of those. And that one is cleared eventually. So, I dump everything at Lakeview, and then I'll eventually come back and store them through my houses. Do a little bit of decorating, that kind of stuff. There. Hmm. We started as a high elf. Nice. Now that I think about it, I don't know about a healing spell, so I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, my. You'll get it from the very start, Henry. You'll get it in the dungeon that you start on. I'll give you this one here. Uh, it's in restoration. They'll give you healing. That's the one. They'll give you. Um, I'm working on close wounds now. But that's silly. I'll get the grand healing after, when I, f when I find the time. It's been good enough so far. I make sure and I have them on a favourite slot, you know, so you can kind of get in. Um, I would, if you want to kind of, you know, finish destruction, I would suggest you start it right from the bat, you know, getting in as much destruction as possible. Yeah. Yeah, but th the way it works for the spells, let's say, you know, you'll get certain spells up to level 25 in that skill. And then, let's say, then you go to, let's say, novice apprentice, you know, uh, novice apprentice expert master. So more and more spells will become available as your skill gets higher. So always be on the lookout for, you know, new spells that you might, you know, need and might be better, especially the healing ones, you know. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Um, but it's it's not too bad if you do your enchanting and alchemy beforehand. You'll make up some pretty interesting bits of jewelry that would make the spells, let's say, less costly. So you could use them more and use heavier spells, you know. But you can always fall back on your trainers, you know, if you want to. You could exclusively lose, use trainers up to 90 if you've got the cash. Just raising your levels up. You could always do that in illusion, you know. But I didn't mind the hard way. Yeah. <coughs> Oh. 
I'm just storing these for a minute, guys. And then we're off. Oh, there's nothing there I want to keep. No. Oh dear. Ah, uh, just get rid of those ingredients in here. And then we're off. We'll sell that junk. I think Riverwood might be open now. We should be able to fall great. Should be able to get rid of a ton of it. You can power level your destruction by running around rift and getting all the skeevers. With flames. <laughs> There's a few glitches you can use, alright, Cromulus. I've never been a big fan of them. I think it ruins the whole kind of thing in the game. Um, well, the most powerful one-handed weapon, uh, I always use straightforward one-handed weapons, um, Henry. Um, uh, I don't use the magic ones because you know, the hassle, recharging and that, then you get so powerful you don't need that extra edge. So I just go for straightforward swords. I would recommend uh, the second hardest hitting sword. That's not magical in the game, if you're playing the SSE, which would be the Daedric Sword. You'll need a Daedra Heart and some Ebony and stuff, so always be on the lookout. For early in the game, you'll buy them in alchemy shops sometimes, they're rare enough. So I would go with one of those, always been my favorite one-handed weapon. I don't like uh, the magical weapons, you know. So I just go with that. You get so overpowered in the game anyway. If you do it right, you don't need to be doing that. Mm. But I've always loved uh, the Daedric Sword and the whole kind of outfit as well, you know. Uh, okay, let's get set. Oh, hang on. We're getting rid of the... Yeah, we got them. Right, let's get rid of the junk. What time is it? Yeah, uh, it's too late. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. And they're kind of handy for doing this. We'll hit the camps, selling this off. But I think we have some expensive weapons, don't we? Oh, guys, we have some really expensive weapons. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do then. We will head to Whiterun. Because I've got some cash there. We've got some expensive weapons. I'm wasting my time going to the camps. Oh, did we buy this horse from this Not guy? Complete. Not today. Sold my last one. Pretty sure I sold it to you. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> we already bought his horse. The archery, even though I don't use it much in this game, it's so fun. We need some. Take a look. Ah, we won't buy anything from this. Let's see what he has. Okay, let's get rid of this junk. I want to get rid of some of this more expensive stuff. Alright. Ooh. Now, there's a decent one-handed weapon as well. This one I'm going to sell, because we have restrictions in this game. We can only use um, Imperial. That's a Daedric one-handed weapon. I got that on loot, but you want to be a high level before that one would come out. Ah, it's pretty classy, isn't it? I guess it takes a while for them to respawn. Oh, yeah, depending on what you're looking for, obviously. Oh, I'm keeping that. I knew I forgot something. Ah, well, we can drop it on the way back anyway. It doesn't really matter. Ebony is not bad either. I'd much prefer the other one. Okay. 
Right. We've taken his money. We'll hop straight into White Run. We should be able to get rid of this stuff pretty quick, even though it's expensive. I've maxed out all these guys here in the money. I've maxed out that, so they've got they've got a lot of cash. You're someone who can get things done. I like Dungeons that. would usually take uh, about about thirty in game days, I think. But the areas, let's say, in cells would be more like double that. Twenty to forty, I think, for dungeons. So you're talking about a, a maybe a thirty average. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking and for it's pretty it's a pretty bad weapon. The ancient Nord war uh, so you let's say um when you look at your weapon here one second. So you're going for a one handed. Now my sets will look Massive, but that's because I did the grinding on them. When you get them, they won't look as powerful. So, let's say I keep away from daggers. Yeah, we'll see that one there. That's 153. That's without fixing it up. So, you'd be going with what damage it can do. That's what you're looking for. More damage, the better it is. So, let's say out from the magic stuff and out from the anniversary edition, the. The dragon stuff would be a little bit better than the Daedra. But it's just too heavy and it's really, really ugly. You know, the Daedra stuff looks pretty sweet. You're just using a few, losing a few points, you know, on the weapons. But that would be my favorite. They just look too good. Um, strangely enough, if you're going for armor and its coverage... The Daedric armor is a little bit better than uh, dragon armor. Even though you can make Daedra stuff yourself at 90, when dragon you need to max out at 100, which I could never understand that. But there you go. But, you know, see where it says the damage? Yeah, go for the best damage. Depends on the level you have. You'll probably, you know, even at very low levels, the best you're going to be getting is probably elven swords and that, and they're cool. You know, you might get the odd Nordic one here and there. But just be on the lookout for it, and then you can always make stuff or buy them later. You can always buy them, I suppose. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in the world. Oh. Jorland Gray has <coughs> got that honor. Well, I've still got another 10 or 15 minutes. So what I've been doing, you know, because of my health scare, well, I'll be doing my my stated time, you know, of four hours. Um, even though I don't feel very tired, but I think the more rest I get, you know, the better off I'll be. Let's see if we can, you know, in a couple of weeks, see if we can push it another hour or so again after that. The finest weapons and armor. Ah, uh, there's the, uh, the X. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. Hmm. Ah, that's good enough. Yep. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. There's another thing you want to be pretty careful of as well, Henry. You see how that lady was talking to me as I was moving? Sometimes you come out of a shop. And if you kind of go in like this into your map and then fast travel pretty quickly, sometimes it, it, it happens. If you fast travel right at the precise moment and an NPC wants to talk with you, you literally drag them to that side of the map and they event well, they'll walk back towards you know where they should be and usually get killed yeah that happens a lot hmm. yeah it's level 12 level 13 yeah I I think the dwarf and stuff is pretty cool but it doesn't do a lot of damage, and it doesn't have a lot of protection. Even with uh, 
you know, that cube, that quest, you know, where you get an extra 25%. But yeah, just keep hitting away, keep doing your stuff, and as you find weapons, it's much more fun. I think, you know, trying to pick out the best weapons from what you find. I wouldn't mind if this was, this game, let's say, if you couldn't buy weapons at all, it was more of a kind of a scavenger hunt. I think it would make it more interesting. Oh, that's right. Yeah, in Riverwood. Oh, level four. I still can find it. Is it Alvin? Yeah, it will use to be Alvin. I'm going to call it a night. I'm glad you're back. Have a great day. And thanks for hanging out, Plant. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest. And I'll be probably going in about ten minutes myself. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Take care and stay safe, Plant. Bye. Yeah, I'm just too scared to, to push it anymore. Especially when I'm starting to get pretty tight in the chest area. But once these blood pressure meds and other stuff kick, kick, kick in, you know, that might give me a little bit more time. But I'm... Well, well I've been surprised lately at how tired I get so easily. You know, I feel like I've I've walked like 50 miles. Yeah, that makes sense. Looking to protect yourself or deal well, We still have a little bit of time. I'll always guarantee my four hours, no matter what, and I'll always stream on my my uh, my schedule days, and I always do exactly the time. You know, I knew no matter how bad it got, I could I could do three days, and I could do four hours in every stream, and four hours is about the average on Twitch. You know. Yeah. But once I'm feeling a little bit better again, you know, again, I'll do the unscheduled streams and from stream to stream if I feel like I can push it more than four hours. Yeah, I'll totally go for it. But for a while, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm pretty, um, well, I won't say ill, but you're pretty tired and pretty spent. Yeah, let's get rid of this junk, guys. I think there it is. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, that will do. Perfect. Right, let's get rid of this junk. We've got a bit done. We've got a bit done. They are the trouble, Imperium. But this this pain can be cruel. It's right center of my chest. I can feel it radiating beneath my ribs. It's right behind the sternum here in my chest. And it's giving me a lot of back pain as well. Got something for just about but as long as I Give don't overdo it and rest up, I should be good. You. You're not getting... Getting, you know, lying down and, and that, you know, what are you hunting? ease it a bit. I don't want to know. Ah. Seems a sin to give him such a nice axe. There we go. Thank you very much. There's a ton of stores and shops who will totally sell everything. No problem. We'll have it nice and clean. And what day is today, guys? Well, it's Saturday. Oh, yeah, I'm streaming tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll get the Brotherhood thing done. We'll see. I might be feeling a bit better. We might be able to squash in another hour. Mm -hmm. About you, he said. I might not have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I I got a lot of tests and stuff. Yeah. But I definitely mention it. Yeah. But th they've kind of linked it to um well cholesterol. And that remember that slow heartbeat I was talking about? Not not let's say life threatening or anything like that. But it doesn't help me too well. Um let's say when it comes to, you know, blood pressure problems. You know. But yeah, I'll totally mention it. What do you need? Take a look. Oh, that's expensive, isn't it? Two something. Uh, three something. Okay, looks like you're getting potions. Oh, that was nice. Remember. Uh, I want to hit this lady in here. See if she got any buy out. I need some for some decoration. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then? Nah, didn't think so. Okay, you look like you need a grand staff of repulsion. Uh, it's a nice looking thing, but it's it's far from unique, so, you know, we're only keeping the unique stuff. Yeah, we just want to keep the unique stuff. Ah, you're good. Alright, almost there, guys. So for a while until I get rightly back on my feet, guys, we'll stick to the four-hour streams, which is it's not bad, you know. As I said, it's you know about the average. Yeah, that that chunk I actually want. Ah, here we go. Now. I think that's it, guys. We sold everything. Well, everything we wanted to sell, at least. Yeah, we're good. Right, let's store this. It's not bad. But it's nice having all these guys maxed out, so, you know get rid of a lot of junk in one place but this has been my well it's always been my favorite selling spot you've got one uh, two let me see three four you tried five it might suit you. one two let me see three four five eight ten ten vendors here and then if you're looking enough at the gate, you'll get the Khajiit guy as well, so possible 11. Oh yeah, we got rid of everything, didn't we? Right, let's store this junk here at Lakeview. And I'll save it here. And we can start tomorrow. I'll try and get on a little bit earlier. You see the time is killing me as well. It's almost 7am here. I started about an hour and a half later than I usually did, but that was... You know, because of um, an internet outage. But if I can start it earlier, we might be able to squish a little bit more time in. Diabetes. Oh, I've been checked for that like every second month. I've had about a hundred blood tests. And that's something I'm always checking. Um, yeah. But I, I don't ask me why I'm not diabetic. But apparently I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, hi, Sir Thomas. And how have you been? <laughs> Read the rest of it. Uh, yeah, you're saying you talked to your doctor. No, I did, yeah. I did. 
But the di the diabetes, uh, you know, I'm always paranoid about that one, and I've had the last time I was checked fully for that would have been about a week ago, and I've had like a hundred tests since that. No joking. Yeah, about a hundred tests. But that's something I always go back to. But I should. Yeah, by all logic, I should be diabetic. You know, but I'm not for some reason. Um, I seem to have some kind of heart abnormality where it's beating a bit slow. It's not life-threatening and it's not even dangerous. Um, but apparently they say it's rare, but people have it. Um, but I suppose it's not helping me now with blood pressure. My problem is stress and it always has been. Apparently, Romulus, my body has been producing to deal with stress a lot of cholesterol and a lot of, uh, oh, it starts with C. Whatever it is, anyway, it starts with C. And it, it tends to waste my heart a lot and put it under pressure. My heart is also producing an enzyme that should be, let's say, well, kind of level 14 or whatever you want to call it. Mind has been level 50. Cort cortisol. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. I couldn't think of it. I knew it started with C. <laughs> Should be 14. Mind is 50. They got it down now, I think, to 22 or something. But they said nothing really to worry about too much, but it is concerning. Um, they said when it gets to a heart attack, it's like hundreds it's a hundred you know heart so probably halfway to a heart attack no not collagen <laughs> no cortisol it is yeah and i think i've heard it called cortisine yeah that's the one you're spot on with that one it's been producing that and uh cholesterol in large doses huge um, not too rare. It's people who um, emotionally stress. You know, if um, if you've got a friend that's ill, you know, you really take it to heart and you get stressed out. Kind of emotional response. And um, I, in that sense, I do tend to stress a lot. I got to go. No problem, Das. Have a great day and stay safe, everyone. And thanks for stopping by, Das. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one, a great day, and take care. And be sure to tell your mama, said hi, and wish her a great day from me also. Have a good one, Nas. Bye. Well, that seems to be my real issue. I do have an ulcer, and, and pep peptic ulcers tend to, to mimic heart problems. You know, even down to the arm pain, to the chest pain, and stuff like that. But, you know, that's... Probably, you know, that's that's a good part of my problem as well, I suppose. Not exactly. It's just that, let's say, I tend to to worry about people, yeah, and situations, and uh, I can think two or three steps ahead on certain things. <laughs> Apparently not on others. But, no, I, I, I basically stress too much. I worry about everything. Even though sometimes I think I'm not worrying. But apparently I am. But apparently these levels of cortisine and, um, or cortisol and, um, cholesterol, you know, tend to point that way. It could be something got to do with my genetics as well. You know, you couldn't rule that one out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well. When I said stress can kill you. Yeah, uh, they were actually right. Oh, there we go, guys. I'll come back on later today and I'll sort out that rubbish. Have it nice and clean. And then we'll carry on with the... Let's see it again. The Dark Brotherhood. I will, of course, be back tomorrow. 
at the same time. But right now, I think I need to lie down. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. But what we will do is, we will um, we'll do a raid. We'll stop by and we'll say hello to some friends. Hmm. My heart attack. I had at 40 it was caused. Oh, yeah, 100% by stress. I think that's what's doing me grumulous. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the same here. I'm going to have to learn how to deal with it a bit better. But dealing with stress that's and, and problems that other people have that's totally under c your control, it's hard to do. You know what I mean? It's very, very hard to do. And then when the stress fills up, you feel like the universe is, you know, kind of conspiring against you to go out of the way to make um, every situation as stressful as possible. Ma, uh, we'll see. You know, eh, it's probably my genetics to be this way. So I'm probably yours too, Grumulus. I think we're destined for things and we can't really, you know, change them, I suppose. Probably an inheritance from our ancestry. Oh well. So what I'll do is I will get my phone ready. And we'll raid straight away. Oh. And then I can kind of lie back and relax a bit. And get something to drink. I've been so thirsty all the time. Now. Okay, there's my raiding thing up. Perfect on the phone. Oh, I've got to log into Twitch. How did this happen? Uh, sugar. I'll be able to do it. I uh, I might be able to do it from here, guys. Oh, you'll have to bear with me. Um, here, I'll just leave this on pause for a moment. I'll need to use two phones. My phone must have gone flat when I was in the hospital. Now that stupid thing wants me to log in again. So I've got to go through about a ton of apps to get the code words. So, just give me a tiny moment, guys.
Right, these idiots are not accepting my passport. Um, let's see if I can if I can read from from my screen here. But this this is ridiculous, guys. Um, this is really bad. They're not accepting my. No, under no circumstances, those idiots. But th th today has been one of my worst days ever for this kind of stupidness. Um, I'll see if I can do it from something else, but it's now blocked me out of my Twitch account. Yeah, it's literally. Yeah. It's been, everything has been going wrong. Power went. Internet went. Everything has been conspiring against me. Now this stupid thing blocking me out of my Twitch account on that. Um, okay. Let's see if I can do it from here, guys. No, we'll have to skip it, guys, for tonight, I think. And what I'll do is I'll try and get back into my... This is silly. Oh, hang on, I might have it on a green phone here. But I'll probably have done the same here on this one. This is so stupid. I really don't need a asshole. No, this, this phone is not working either. No. I'll spend some time on it today, and I'll figure out what's going on with this um, this Twitch, this stupid Twitch account. But it's not accepting my login, and why it's logged me out is beyond me. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll leave it here, guys. We won't be doing a raid tonight. I'm sorry about that. But um, goodbye, um, Jonathan, uh, Gromulus, Das Patch. And Sir Thomason, and thanks guys for hanging out, appreciate it. And my apologies for this These shenanigans, I just thought I could do a raid, but I was uh, mistaken. Um, also, of course, to um, to Hufflepuff, to Terry, to Blonde Tigger, to um, uh, have a good one, ladies. And see you too, Jonathan, and thanks for thanks for being here. Um, also, thanks for the follows tonight, guys, as well. I appreciate it, of course. And, of course, have a good one, Henry and Patch. Um, and thanks for the raids and follows. Um, 
And of course, Granny Vance, Siren. And uh, Neck in the Clouds. And I think we mentioned Henry. And thanks again for the follows. And of course, uh, well, I'll call you just vibing. I know it's shoes gaze, shoe gaze. But I'll call you by your new tag. Thanks for being here. And of course, thanks for that raid. Um, Alter, a little badger. I appreciate it. And you two collector, have a good one. And if you're watching Young, and I think Young was in Suburban Wolf. Take care, guys. And you too, Harvey. Hope you have a great day. And of course, collector. And that's everyone I can see, guys, of course. If I have forgotten anyone, my apologies. And hi, I am. Hi, QFix. Yeah, just getting ready to... Uh, well, we can't read because for some reason I've been locked out of my uh, account on the phone. I'll have to get into it later. It's not ex accepting my password. I was just getting ready to, to get some sleep and rest. Yeah, so how have you been, um, QFix? Well, I hope... Yeah, I was off um, for about a week or so. I was a bit ill, but I'm back now, and I've been, you know, doing let's say three days a week, four hours in every stream. But I hope you've been well. So yeah, I think I will leave it here, guys. I will, of course, be back tomorrow at the same time. Oh, nice for the first time to Ireland. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. The idiot, um, stupid phone has locked me out of my Twitch account. And it's not accepting my password. For some reason. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. It should get me in, but yeah, apparently not. A good night, QFix. And sorry I have to go so soon when you've just arrived. But, um, yeah, I haven't been the the healthiest lately and, you know, trying to get back on my feet. So, I will leave it here, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be doing a raid tonight. But I'll work on this and get it fixed. Um, see what's, what's happening. And hopefully it won't it won't be too hard to do. So, again, guys, thanks for watching, for hanging out, thanks for the raids and the follows. Appreciate it, guys. And thanks for the kind messages on Discord. I appreciate that, I really do. Um, so, I'll get some rest, and, um, yeah, I'll be back at the same time tomorrow. And, yeah, uh, we can at least do four hours again tomorrow. So, I will leave it here, guys, and I hope you all have... A wonderful day and stay safe and I've forgotten to mention anyone um, my apologies and um, yeah I hope to see you all again next time so take care guys and stay safe there audio cloud have a good one guys <laughs>